Hello. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi, Jason. Hi, Ravens girl. I almost said hi to myself. <laughs> What's up, Brian? It's good to see you. Hey, jokester. Hi, Drew. How's it going? Hi, CJ. Hi, Archbound. Hey, Drew. How's it going, you guys? What's up, Cynthia? Welcome in. How's it going, you guys? The final episode of Demon Slayer? It was very, very, very good. It was very good. The animation is so good. We, we can say that. But, um, $30 of the barbecue pool stream? Yes. <laughs> You're bringing that to people's attention. <laughs> I'm feeling a little... I don't know. I gotta get, like, a... I had a little... Honestly, I had a little too much, like... I indulged a little too much the past month. It was my birthday month. I had lots of fun things. But now I'm like, okay. it's It's time to bring it back down i i feel like june i always drink a lot more because i have so many like birthday celebrations and then there's a lot of like barbecues because the summer is starting and stuff and unfortunately alcohol as delicious as it is is like the fastest way to gain weight so i'm feeling like <sighs> well, well on the bloated side but that's okay that's okay. Yo, why more? Pixel Paul, thank you so much for the follow. find my stream pixel paul guys i had not to be like tmi but i have like a stuck burp and it hurts <laughs> i hope i don't burp in your guys ears <sighs> through insta that's awesome thank you for popping in from insta pixel paul i appreciate that I like to ask where people find from because I want to know, like, you know, I post to Instagram, I post to Twitter when I'm going live. And sometimes I'm like, does this matter? Like, are people seeing it? So it really helps me. So thank you for answering. I appreciate that. Were, were you already following me on Instagram? What is up with my hair? Hello? I'm off tomorrow, you guys. I'm so excited about it. Following an Insta, spotted my story. Nice, thank you. I appreciate you coming on in. So I know this coming week is a holiday week here in the States. I don't know if people are gonna be at barbecues. Why do I have an unban request? From 2023, what the fuck? Hello? I'm disappointed with the fourth being on Thursday. I have to go on Friday. That's annoying. I'm disappointed. Oh, it's hot too fucking hot to be doing a barbecue. I had a barbecue yesterday just with a couple of friends. Um, and it was hot, but I had a little kiddie pool and I went in the little kiddie pool with the kids. <laughs> 
lighting up a grill and working it when it's already 95 degrees out. Yeah. I know. That could be rough. I had, um... I had, like, half a hot dog. And a cheeseburger, and... Some ribs. Why is Alta lying to me and saying this is not my password? Hello? What the fuck, Alta? This is- this is aggravating me! What is happening? We're having the worst summer in the UK, what, miserable and no sun? Pixel, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm- I'm legitimately asking. Because in the States, we have this view of the UK weather being wet with no sun all the time. Is that not always your summers? Like, I just envision a super rainy summer. It is, right? <laughs> Hi, Tundra! I want to know why my- I'm trying to- I'm sorry that I'm multitasking, but I need to sign on to Ulta because I get a free gift for it being my birthday month and I realize today's the last day of June. So I'm like, I gotta get- the, I gotta claim this thing before it goes away. I don't want to have to do it on my phone, but I will if I have to. But do you get do you get more sun in the summer typically, Tundra? Good luck getting a birthday gift. Thanks. Someone just subscribed to my Patreon. If you're in the chat, thank you. You don't have to out yourself. I'm just saying. Okay, wait. I think I have the Ulta app. There's honestly also I didn't get my free crumble cookie, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to- I'm trying to chill with the cookies and it's- I have to go a far away to get it, okay. Do I not have the app? What is happening? Mostly last year, getting a few days of cloudy rainy recently this month. Okay. Um... Sign in, hello? Okay, it wor <gasps> No! I x out of it! It works and I x out of it! Guys, I'm sorry, but this is crucial. Like, I have to get... <laughs> I have to get my Ulta gift, because it's free. Knock on wood, it's been pretty nice here this summer. Um, I mean, we've had a few days of, like, rain and stuff, but it hasn't been anything crazy. It's supposed to rain today into tomorrow, and that's... If not, I have to water my tomatoes, so I have to keep an eye on that. Okay, how do I get my birthday gift, Alta? Uh... Alta rewards? <sighs> Guys, my tomatoes are growing slowly but surely. Okay. Activate? Bro, I don't know. Activate? I'm just gonna activate every little thing here. How do I get happy birthday? Earn. How do I find my birthday gift? Do I have to like order something and then I put it in there? Let's try. I have not been to. Well, actually, I assumed you're from England. I don't know where you're from, Pixel. The only part of the UK that I've ever been to is Scotland. And when I went, I went to Edinburgh and the Highlands a little bit. Not the Highlands, it was more like the Lowlands. But I went to Edinburgh and it was in early October. Wow. Oh my god, is that Astro Annie? Annie, thank you so much for the 
Rain. How's it going? Welcome in, Raiders. Oh my god, the aliens are invading. Come join aliens. Hello from Walgreens. Hello, Lemmy Winks. An alien came all the way to Earth and went to a Walgreens. It's so good to see you, Annie. I am doing well. How are you? Guys, Annie is wonderful. Please check out Annie. She is such a like a creative mind. And all of her cool, like, Yo, outer space-themed branding and, like, fun celebrations and her game is so awesome. Please check out Annie. I'm glad you're well. It's so good to see you live again. Welcome in, you guys. If you do not know me, I am Nerdy. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering lately. We start out every stream with just chatting, so that's what we're doing right now. This is my nomination. We like to talk about food and anime and simple or fictional characters and nerd out together. Well, I like to simple or fictional characters. Welcome in. How was your stream? Let me thank you so much for the follow. Of course, you had fun. I'm glad to hear it. If you need to go do your after stream self-care, I totally get it. Thank you for popping in. Thank you so much for the raid. We appreciate you like crazy. It's so good to see you live. Thank you. We're just chilling as I'm trying to figure out how to get my fancy Ulta. You're wearing the same shirt as me? Moi? Et tu? <laughs> I'm just wearing a white. This was my 14-year-old niece's shirt that she gave me, and it fits me way, way differently than it fits her. And I was like, please give me. Yes, I will take that. You are too young to wear this. Goodbye. Thank you. I shall take it. Um. It's a Digo tea. What does that mean? I'm very naive. You might have to explain it to me. By the way, do you guys like my nice, like, self-tanner? White tank. You like my background? Thank you! It makes me feel like I'm in, like, a pretty little, like, tea area and it's, like, pink and springy. It makes me excited. Also, it, it's like, matches the colors here. It's nice, thanks. Undershirt, yes. This is definitely like, can be looking like an undershirt. Yes, go make your dinner. Thank you so much for, for the raid, Annie. I really appreciate you. Thank you for trusting me with your community. Don't maybe say the name we use outside for that shirt. If you're gonna say like a wife beater, I, I get it. I'm an Italian from New York. <laughs> I, I, I literally call them wife beaters. It sounds so fucking bad, but that's what they're like, that's what we refer to them as like it doesn't it almost doesn't even have a com like the connotation of being like actually that it's just like a colloquial name for them or or it i don't want to even say it if you know you know it's just it's just a very typical very typical way to describe it in the Northeast tri-state area. Arrowvan, thank you for the 26 months. Oh my goodness. I appreciate your support. Welcome back for the 26th month into the nomination. Arrow, you are wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Rain of love. You can give that prime to any of the literal millions of streamers, but you decided to give it to me. Thank you so much. Yeah, egg beaters. Almost two years. Oh my god, the suck burp finally made an appearance. I have such relief. <laughs> Let me, what are you, what's exciting? Alaskan, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Alaskan. Would you like a birthday song? Yeah, 
let's get happy birthdays in chat for Aleska. I'm just, I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little girl. You would indeed. Okay, let me pause the music. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alaskan. Happy birthday to you. Yay! I hope you have the best, best birthday and that you've been able to enjoy yourself and eat the things you want to eat and drink the things you want to drink and relax and go out and do whatever makes you happy. You're so welcome. I love birthdays, especially June birthdays. If you're if you're a June birthday, it is officially the last day of my birthday month, which is actually very upsetting. I consider the entire month of June my birthday month, and once it's ending, it's it's a little upsetting. Okay, I'm still on the quest to get my free Ulta birthday gifts though, and the Sephora one. A Bigfoot visit you? Why? He, oh, here we go. Choose your free gift. I had to spend $25 to redeem it online. Well, I don't have time to get to Sephora in the next hour and a half. So that's fine. Um, Pick your free birthday gift. Wait, what? What? Good luck, everything. We don't want Bigfoot. I don't think Alaskan Jackson's in Alaska at this moment. They love it up there too. There's multiple Bigfoots. I hear a storm. It is now pouring rain. If for any reason my stream cuts out, I will be back. And if I won't be back, then I will get on my phone and I will type in chat that my power is out. Um. We send rain to the south? I mean, take it. We probably need it, though. We've had, like, a, a pretty long... Um, we've had a pretty long heat wave with not a lot of rain. An interdimensional species. No, but I just want to let you know because I have this wonderful UPS, whatever it's called, that my PC is hooked onto so that if my power surges or goes out, which my power surges a lot during storms. It doesn't go out often, but it does surge a lot, knock on wood. Um, I have this thing that keeps my PC going, but my router is not on a UPS. So unfortunately, it resets my internet when my power goes out. So I really need to figure that out. Wow, it that is... That is some heavy rain. That is some heavy rain. Okay, I really need to figure out how to sign into Ulta. This is aggravating the crap out of me. Remember how, like... Remember how, like, I said recently... How I had my password, like, this is horrible in terms of security, but my password is, like, a few variations of the same thing. So how could I be getting it wrong is my question. Like, legitimately, I do not know. Hi, Asylum. How's it going? Props to your mic. Yeah, my thank God I got this mic because honestly, I used to have a crappy mic. This mic is wonderful and I... What hand gesture? I don't even know what I did. Um, 
this mic cuts out a good amount of background noise. But it because it's pouring right now. Bald Eagle. America! Fuck yeah! It is the goat of mics. That's actually a very good, good pun. I don't have any gamble stuff, I'm so sorry. I really can't figure out my Ulta password. You have a gambling addiction? What is my password? I just want my free shit. Oh wait, wait. Ulta furry birthday gift. Let's start with this. So I recommend using password managers. Yo, why more? What's up, hey, Al all Ali Halo Master? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I am in a, a password crisis right now. Nerdy needs free shit. I mean, listen. Choose your birthday gifts. During your birthday month, choose one gift from the selection below. Okay. Where's the selection below? I don't even see it. <laughs> oh my God, this is the most complicated thing. I recommend that everyone use Bitwarden. I was, okay, so like I was gonna, and then I did not. Can I just search like my birthday gift? Oh my goodness. Hi, Willy. This is unnecessarily complicated. Nobody knows my password. Come on. I like <laughs> Mr. Tom for the win. Mr. Tom for the win. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Hi, Spring Heels. There's always an option I forgot. I know there is, but then if I reset my password, then I'm going to have to fix it. Whatever. Welcome in, you guys. Hi, Mel. Hi, The Lonely Has. Hi, Dahlia Nightshade. Mr. Tom, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate it. Last day of Pride Raid. True. And also, last day of my birthday month. Welcome in, you guys. What were you up to? Mr. Tom for the win. Make sushi? What? I want to make sushi. Hello, that sounds delicious. I am now craving sushi. I'm gonna give you a follow so I can check you out next time you're live. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for choosing my, me and my community. My password is not password. Lava. <laughs> Welcome in. It's so nice to meet all of you friends, new friends. I'm nerdy, I'm a variety streamer. We're just chatting while I try to figure out how to get my free Ulta birthday gift on the last day. I'm trying to do it. I don't know my password. 
You play as a cute sushi making robot making friends in a little village. That sounds adorable. I love it. <laughs> I love that. That sounds so cute. I hope you had an amazing stream. We're just chatting. We're getting our... I, I start all my streams with just chatting. My number one thing is engaging with chat. So we like to chat and hang out together. I will play games at some point. But this is my nomination. We like to talk about food and anime and uh, sexy fictional characters and talk about nerdy things and nerd out together. So it's so nice to meet you guys. I'm still trying to figure that I will not give it up. I will find this Ulta free gift. I will. Anyway, I hope you had a good time. If you need to get going, I completely understand. I know how it is at the end of a stream where you're tired, you're hungry. Um, but if not, we're, we would love to have you. Zortex! <laughs> Talking about sexual f fictional characters. Hi, Zor. I don't have to, I don't know if I have to go in person. Um, if so, I'm screwed and I missed it. You need your beauty sleep? Go get your beauty sleep, Mr. Tom. Guys, please check out Mr. Tom. Thank you so much again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Yo, why more? Talia Nightshade, thank you for the follow. The Viking himself, Zora, how are you? I'm like starving all of a sudden, by the way. Oh, I got excited and was like, I got in. No, that's my Sephora. I legitimately don't know. I'm just going to have to do the stupid, I forgot my password bull tanks which is very annoying but it's gonna send me a link to reset i'm just you know what let's google this can i get my free ulta birthday gift online no it says bring on the birthday love celebrate your big day by choosing your ulta beauty rewards birthday gift in store or online sign in this is absolute fucking bullshit. <laughs> this, I, I can't believe this take up so much of my time. You go to your profile and add it. I can't log into my profile. I try, yeah, but if I do forget your password, what happens? Is it emails me a link that I cannot open on this PC? I legitimately don't know what the fuck my password is. Like, there's literally only three passwords it can be, and I've done like every variation. The fuck? I just take the loss after two minutes of thinking. Shadow Wonder. That's a personal problem. You know what, Nana? Hi, Maddie. I'm good. How are you? Thank you for the two months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I'm getting a little hungry. I am getting a little hungry, I'll be honest. I think I have a leftover cheeseburger that's calling my name. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I can't figure this shit out. I'm gonna have to, you know what? I'm gonna have to like, ugh. I don't wanna do this, but I have, because then I have to open a new tab because I'm not logged in. Ugh. You're going out for an Avril Spritz, Lava. I'm just, in this weather? Lava, I will make you an Avril Spritz anytime you want. The more you talk about your passwords, the more I'm judging your technology security habits. Listen here, Arch. Okay. I also use the Google password manager sometimes. A free half-edge Sunday. 
You have the Boston umbrella? Not the Google one. Why not? I love Google Pass. It's helpful for me, okay? You're, why are Yo, you judging me even more? Free feats? <laughs> Was I just followed by free feats? The Google one does not store it encrypted. Oh, that's not good. Is your name Free Feats? Please correct us if it's not. <laughs> Please correct us if it's not. Wait, I... Uh... For you, free gifts. Okay. Like, legitimately? Maybe I don't have... I... I know about Bitwarden, but then if I forget my Bitwarden password, I'm fucked. That's, that's the problem. That's the whole problem. Okay, let me go to my Ulta. Let me go to my manage account. How do I add my, my birthday? Just don't forget it. And if I do, then what? Can I email it to myself? It is saved on my phone, but I can't write it down so that then I could forget where I put it. No, it has my birthday here. So do I need to be looking for an email from Ulta? I'm just going to put an Ulta birthday. Results in mail. Was there anything sent to me on June 18th, which is my birthday? Are you opted into emails? Honestly, fuck you, Ulta. I'm just going to take the Sephora one. <laughs> this is too complicated. It's too complicated, and I have shit that I need to purchase that I'm running out of. They might have sent it earlier. Okay, I, I have things in my cart that I don't need. And I have to spend $25 in order to get my free gift. And I have a feeling that my... That's not right. Is it Too Faced? I, is it Too Faced or Tarte Eyeliner? I don't even remember. All I know is that, no, it's this one. Cause sex kitten. Yeah, it's $24. And I need to spend $25 to get this damn shit. Oh my goodness. I need, all right, you know what? I'm also kind of running low. Am I running low on mascara? Why can't I just root like, Chapstick? Why do I need chapstick? I don't even think they have chapstick. Oh, you know what I've really been wanting to try? Well, this is free if you buy it in store, but I haven't gone to Sephora and it's about to... I was like, what is that music? Um, I just haven't gone there. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to return it because it's something that I actually need. Um, what is the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid peptide lip balm? I need one that's going to plump my lips. Pout preserve. There's one by Ole Henriksen. I got the Better Than Sex Mascara for seven bucks. Um, I've used the Better Than Sex Mascara and like, it's okay. It's okay. The, the thing is, is that it works for like three weeks, like two weeks and then it's horrible. Hi, Sammy girl, how's it going? It smudges under my eyes. Um, are you getting the waterproof one? Why are you gonna gang up on me? This lip balm has a lot 
of good reviews. It really doesn't look poutier to me, like even a little bit though. I mean, it's not... Nana d never uses her scary voice with me. It's not waterproof? No, you ha I don't know. You'd have to get the actual waterproof one. What's the ne- Nana, what's the one that you got? I don't really need this. What was the brand? I also need- oh my god, wait, what? What is- time to earn. I can get a shit ton of extra points. Paula's Choice. Okay, let me see if I see that here. Do they have it in Sephora? Did it work? Did you use it? I'm sorry that this has turned into a shopping- I'm- I'm- actually, I'm not sorry that it's turned into a shopping stream, but like, I'm sorry if you're disappointed this has turned into a shopping stream. We will get to gameplay, we will get to all that kind of other stuff, but... It helps? It pl did it- it plumped your lips? Like, are your lips, like, thicker? Because I want to be, like... Time to earn. All is choice lip. Um... Okay, wait, let me- can I click on Paula's Choice? They didn't get huge, but yes. I mean, I don't think they're gonna get huge. Your stream rules. I mean, that's why I said I wasn't sorry. <laughs> so let's see, skincare. Uh... I don't... You love it? See? That's why we have to ask Cookie, because Cookie knows it all. Fenty lip gloss thing and it burned, but it worked. I have I have one of those on right now. I have a Too Faced um, lip plumper. It doesn't... It doesn't really work. It tingles. It's a nice little tingle. It doesn't work. Also, I feel like those are probably not good because they... They contain some type of irritant. That's how it makes your lips tingle. And I don't mind it. I like it. I use it. But it's probably not good. Alright, Tanja, thanks for lurking. Um... I typed in Paula's Choice lip and literally nothing came up. Redness Relief Facial Moisturizer... Nana, you'll have to try to send me the link somewhere. Um, I have a mascara that I actually purchased, which is, um, a travel size because I was trying new ones. So I kind of want to buy the full version, but now I don't remember what it was. And if I got up off of my ass and walked literally four feet that way, I could get my mascara and see which it is. But I'm instead going to be lazy and stubborn and scroll through all of the mascaras until I see it. <laughs> they may not even have it at Sephora. I got it at Ulta. Let's see. Benefits. I want volumizing. And lengthening. I want big ol... Is there anything that... Why can't I select brush type? <sighs> um, what the fuck else do I need? Like, I need stuff from Ulta. This is why I was hoping that Ulta would have the birthday gift. Ulta birthday gift 2024. Let's see. Um. 
Oh, here's another website that tells us what it is. April through June. Okay, let's see. Let's open them up and see if it's worth... Because the sad thing is, is that I can go to Ulta tomorrow, but it'll be too late. We can't load this page right now. Pay Fuck you, Ulta. Why is everything going to be... <laughs> I'm so angry at Ulta right now. Um... I can go in and ask the workers nightly, nicely. I mean, I could, but at the same time, I'm a rule follower. Should have just got it on mini golf day. Yeah, but on mini golf day, they only had the shit ones left. They only had, not that they were shit ones. They were ones that didn't apply to me. Like one of them was for, was like a hair oil. My hair can't handle oil. One of them was like something else. Like they only had, and it's my own fault that I didn't go into the one that's close to me. It's really no one's fault but my own. Um, let's see if I can find- Lip plumper, yes. Give it to me. I would like my lips plumped. Thank you. Plump these bad boys. <laughs> Please. Speaking of shopping, I'm looking at the Magic the Gathering secret layer stuff. What secret layer stuff? I'm getting really hungry. I'm going to have to make a burger soon. How many carbs do I have left for the day? Is the question. Can I... I have 40 grams of carbs left. I think I can have my burger on a bun. Yo, i more. Roll through. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome on in. It's nice to have you. A burger. Honestly, I don't want the burger. I mean, listen, I want the burger, but I feel like burgers heated up. Oh, pardon me, burger. <laughs> I'm not much of a lip gloss girl because, unfortunately, it doesn't look nice. Like it, Assassin's Creed, <gasps> but I want the Assassin's Creed stuff, but I can't get it because, because you have to buy it all separately, don't you? Let's see, sale and offer, beauty under $20. Yes. Everything. Give me... Makeup under 20 bucks. I want the Assassin's Creed set so badly. You have to buy them all and just hope you get it, which is not what I want. Okay, sort by low to high. Let's see what I can get from Sephora that's super cheap. Cotton swabs. Mm, a lip gloss ornament ball. Waterproof lip liner, tinted moisturizer. These are not really what I need. A moisturizing lip balm. Should I try skincare? I want to make an... I would love to make a whole Assassin's Creed... Um, I would love to make a whole Assassin's Creed deck. But... I think it's going to be expensive. They have Glamnetic Brush on Nail Glue. Guys, don't use um, eyelash curlers. They're really really bad for your eyelashes. They will rip those babies out and it's not good. It is not a good thing. Okay, instead of makeup, let's try skincare that's under 20. But I just love Ezio so much. How are we supposed to curl them? With a really good, um, with just really good mascara. Eyelash curling is horrible for the health of your lashes. Because you're, you're essentially, when you do it, you're, even if you don't see, you're making like microscopic rips and pulling, yoinking on the hairs of your 
eyelashes, which can really damage their growth. Yeah, they're really bad bad for back me up, Reina. <laughs> Body shimmer oils? I mean let I'm looking. Let's see. They have a two dollar blotting paper. I don't really get oily. They have a face mask applicator, which to be honest, I kind of would use. <laughs> Wait, an eyebrow razor set? What is this? Yeah, you should stop. You should stop, Sammy. It's really not good for your eyelashes. It'll actually, and it can actually have, it can actually prevent future eyelash growth. Like you can actually make your eyelashes fall out. Most of the time I'm scared to put on false eyelashes because if you get glue on your lashes, you can pull out your lashes. Use the magnetic ones, Reina. Sol de Janeiro sprays. I'm trying to find something that's cheap, though. They have a couple of, um... Like, $4 face masks that I can just grab. Um... Sail and clear. You're so cute, Lala. Free feats, are you still here? <laughs> the foot mask you told me about? That one is really good, but they don't sell it in Sephora. I want this face mask applicator. It's no longer available. <laughs> okay, let's see. Depuffing, moisturizing, and smoothing cherry lip mask. Um, nourishing and repairing. Oh, they have a foot mask in hydrating hyaluronic acid face mask. Peats. What's up? Oh. Free feeds is still here. What kind of baits do you suggest me to go fishing? Um, the, the get those piggies ready for some. My piggies are ready. I almost showed them to you, but I can't. I can't show them because I would actually get in trouble with Twitch, and I feel like that would be bad juju. The I suggest you use um the little rubber lure that has sparkles on it. Is your name actually Free Feats? I have not gone fishing, but like I've seen them in like Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> you know. Beauty under $20. Let's check out fragrance under $20. And we're gonna sort by low to high because we looking cheap. What the hell is an aroma puck? Oh wait, do they have a Conjac sponge? Because actually I use those and I could use a new one. I don't see it. <gasps> they have a Limoncello limited edition beauty blender. Oh God. I looked everywhere, no dicks. Have, be safe Lava and try not to get too wet. Dick sporting goods. I know they don't have any dicks. <laughs> Just sporting goods. Uh oh. Spaghettio. Um, they lie. But yeah, they have fishing stuff. Whenever I go to Dick's Sporting Goods, it's always to buy like random, very random things. My tooth is oddly bothering me. This is actually very frustrating that I cannot find what I want. Like, I don't want to waste money on some stupid item just to get something for free. I literally need to pay a dollar. Add me to the lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, why is... Who thought it was a good idea to name BJ's BJ's? Like, I'm so sorry. I know that I'm... My brain is in the gutter. But... Why? I don't understand. I bought a paper commander deck. What kind of commander deck? What commander deck? Dinosaurs? Oh no, that means it's a green deck. Imagine having those initials. I feel like I know someone that does have those initials. Pants Laza. Can you, um, link it? I'm getting hungry, guys. I legitimately don't know, like, if there's something else that I need from Sephora and I'm just being... Like, I actually do need another... Mascara, but at the same time... I can get blotting papers, but I feel like I don't ever get oily. What kind of... Sun favored. That is so ugly. <laughs> oh my god! Five mana, just three mana, three... Oh fuck, did I just lose power, guys? Am I, are we still here? Am I still here? Please answer me, I need to know. Okay, my... If I disappear, I'll be back in a minute because my lights just flickered, so they might... You're still here? Thanks, Dahlia. Whenever Pant Lats... Pant Latsa. Sun favored or another dinosaur enters the battlefield, you may discover X, where X is that creature's toughness. What does discover mean? A clever girl. <laughs> She's a clever girl. Um. Let's see. I really wanted the face mask applicator, but it's out of stock and that's very upsetting because I would have bought it for $3. Let me see if I face mask applicator. See if they have another one that's cheap. No, everything else is $55. <laughs> Your dinosaurs explode when I play a dinosaur. I look for another and get to play it. That sounds horrible. That sounds absolutely horrid. Thanks to my initials for my real name, I always have the middle initial. Oh my god, Alaskan, you are BJ! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You are, aren't you? I'm so sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Imagine having your initials be like. No, I'm not. We're, I'm not gonna go there. Never mind. Never mind. Just kidding. You just say B R J. Well, I mean, to be fair, how often does someone ask your initials? It's better. But like, to be just to be fair, like, how often does someone say what your initials are?
All right, let's just get a mask, I guess. Skincare under $20. Except when you have to um, do a signature or whatever, like... Why is the cheapest skincare, like... This is confusing. This is not in the proper order. Deep puffing. All through high school. I feel like high school kids will find a way to make fun of you. No matter. No matter what. <laughs> They'll find it. Okay, I'm just gonna get this hyaluronic acid face mask. Oh wait, they have a couple of them. They have a lemon one. You guys know I'm a salute for lemon. Okay, should I get, here's the question. Lychee, which is moisturizing and glowing. Quenching and plumping watermelon, that sounds nice. Maybe we'll do that. These are six bucks, so like, whatever. I'll just do this. Hydrating with, what is the purifying and clarifying? I don't know what that, that means. That gives me, I'm just gonna get the watermelon one. That sounds good. Add to basket, six extra dollars. Now I can get my free stuff. Are you kidding me? It's asking for my password. If it, if it tells me this is the wrong password, I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, stop it. Is this for real? Is this for real? What do I do? Oh my God, <laughs> it worked, it worked. I typed in my 10 freaking... How do I get my free birthday gift? Hello? Steak night? What are you talking about? Why are you saying steak night? I have a big ass, perfectly medium rare steak. Oh, it just came out of nowhere. Well, that's lovely. Can you manifest a perfectly big ass, medium rare steak in front of me also? Or, but can you maybe make it rare? I like rare, medium rare. It was being made, not my night to make dinner. I, I thought maybe you didn't know. Maybe you didn't know what was for dinner and it just appeared. How do I get my birthday gifts? I'm about to flip out. Happy birthday, nerdy. I almost said my real name. Um, How do I, rewards, bizarre. I did not, I only found out when dinner was yelled for. Okay. New rewards, choose your birthday gifts, finally. Two days left to redeem. Um. Okay, let's see, I don't wanna, Quick look, here are my options. Youth to the people. I don't want that, it has a cleanser. I won't use it, I won't use that cleanser. Um, Lip and brat, what's this? Flawless look, oh, hold on, Charlotte Tilbury? What is this? I might get this one. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I might get this one. That is a Charlotte is a is a is a queen. I'm so freaking hungry. I'm so hungry. I want a steak. Come on down to Florida. Okay, BRB. 
hopping on a... Hopping on a plane. We have five people and eight snakes! Send me one! On a flat top? Lip and brow birthday set? I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'm gonna go for the Charlotte Tilbury one. Yeah, this one looks like... Hmm. I want my burger. Okay. On the go hydration birthday set. Wait a second. What is that? Oh my god, this is from the uh the Forest Temple. This song. Ooh, I don't know. This one looks good too. A hydration quenching mask and a lip butter balm for hydration and in shade vanilla. Does it taste and smell like five bit Timber gets a steak? Oh, I love that. <laughs> I don't think shadows uh could deal with chewing a steak, honestly. Okay, so Okay, everybody, you guys are gonna help me figure out which one to pick, okay? So please. <laughs> Wait, I'm choking. <laughs> Put a one in chat if I should get, just put, pick, pick a number one or two and put it in chat. And I will use that to figure out which birthday gifts. Yeah, one or two in chat. Just pick a number and slap it in chat. Hi, Bearded. I hope you're having a great weekend, too. <sighs> Good news is, I don't have to water my tomatoes because it just poured rain. I bought these little mesh bags to put over them so that nothing... Um, So that nothing... Archbound, why? Why is there always someone who puts three? That was not an option. Add. Okay, done. How many points do I have? I have 300 points? I can get free socks. Go, man! I will not be constrained by your parameters. You will. It's my stream. Go oh man, how are you doing? Guys, Go man is wonderful. Please check him out. How are you doing? Um Oh my god, wait a minute. What is this? I'm only 2 points away from this. Oh, that's a face cream. Oh my god, the eye cream though. Technically zero is one encoding. I remember I when I was in high school, I took um I took some kind of computer science class and I remember I, I knew how to uh, type in, I knew how to read, understand binary. That was fun. Okay. Um. socks and free feet oh my goodness no i'm pretty i'm pretty sure that's not free feet i'm pretty sure that is an italian name which would be like better fets but it's not free feet almost sadly <laughs> someone people have asked me to sell them my socks it's true Starchy, no, not the 
feet. Off the feet. I'll give mine for free. They will never be asked for again. Uh, people, I will tell you guys, I posted. Starchy, I'm just ordering. I'm ordering some makeup on my other monitor. That's what's going on. Um. Okay, let's just check out quickly. Oh, good. I can pay with PayPal. Thank God. Um. Every time I try to choose what samples I want, they just send me whatever sample they want anyway. So it's a little silly. Profound sadness. I cannot comprehend the desire to own a piece of clothing from someone else. I am sh unsure of what benefit you could possibly derive from it, and I don't want to... Archbound. Archbound. You of all people certainly can understand the benefit as our resident Riz Master. Does it mean that you can empathize? <laughs> but you definitely understand. Um, people, are, people are sick, okay? They wanna do sick things with, with people's, people have, somebody have asked me to sit on a jacket and fart on it and mail it to them. Like legitimately people are out of their minds. It's like not, it's not okay. <laughs> no, they wanted to mail me their jacket. I don't know. I don't know you guys. I don't ask these questions. Okay, wait, I'm checking out. Oh, wait, actually, can I do it like this? People legit buy jars of farts. Yeah, people are... Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Okay, place order. Yay, done. I'm getting my birthday gift. Ulta didn't give me one. Ulta sucks. Whatever. That was a lot of effort, Starchy. I'm really glad that I don't have to, uh... My god, anyway. Oh my god, Arch posts his juicy, delicious steak in my... Oh, that looks so good. Those look so good, you guys. I haven't had Taco Bell in a while. Has anybody had the, the Taco Bell, like, big Cheez-It thing? They have a... I don't even know what it is. It tastes as good as it looks. That steak? What is it seasoned with? Like, please explain. Currently savoring it? <laughs> that, this is a form of torture, Arch. It's a form of torture. I have, like, hot dogs. I've not seen it since it was... I've not been... Wait. I've not been since it was added to the menu, but I'm curious. What are you talking about? Oh, the, the Taco Bell thing? I've seen people that showed it and it, it looks like it would be good, but it gets kind of mushy. Cure salt and pepper, that's the best way to season a steak. I'm curious and another person could tell me how it is. I've seen like reviews of it online. On a flat top grill. You want to speak about the Florentine steak? I had Florentine steak and was the best. Honest, honestly, it was the top three steaks I've ever had in my life. Top three best steaks, if not the best. It was insane. It was insane. I have a picture of me eating that steak and I look like I'm in another universe. Uh, 
I have a picture of it. Wait, I can find it. I can find it. Wait, I need to find it. No, not the ads! Be gone! I really need to do something about that. Um... I'm pretty sure I have a photo. All, so many of the photos of me in Italy are me chowing down on food. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh, I'm so Let's see. It's been almost two years. Okay. Yeah, so the top three best steaks. Bees! <laughs> Hi, bees! I love to eat. Can you blame me? Food is so good. It's my greatest joy in life. <laughs> the top three best steaks I've ever had in my life. In no particular order because I can't rate them. One of them would be the Florentine steak that I had in Florence. One of them would be the um, Wagyu. The Wagyu that I had in Mount... It was like in an... In an Real con and not Fuji. And then the other one is um, I had it at Coat, which is a Michelin star restaurant in New York City. Oh my God, all of the food from Italy, help! I want it and I can't get it. Okay, like we're gonna look through this now. I actually bought this wine, I have it. I have it at home. I just need to get some good biscotti so that I could have it. Pasta. Guys, I'm so hungry. Why am I torturing myself right now? This was some truffle delicious thing. Truffles are surprisingly cheap in Italy. <laughs> this, here it is. This was the steak, the Florentine steak that I had. You've all seen the pictures you shared of nerdy eating. Bees, why do you have so many pictures of me eating? <laughs> oh my god, and that delicious... Oh my god, I want it having a moment Yo, I'm all... the bone marrow Ugh. hi das crossing tim thank you so much for the follow welcome in oh my god i i can't read that i i can't read that yeah pop i love paparazzella i just have pictures of oh my god oh, i want it You just got home from work? Welcome home. Like, please give it to me. <laughs> I imagine Nerdy having framed photos of her eating all over the place. Not of me eating, but of food. Also, apparently bees. They have one of these in New York City. We need to go. We need to go immediately. Because that was so freaking good. Oh my God. Dying, I want food. Feed me. Oh my god. Will my tummy can handle new food? Okay, we'll do it. We'll make that our goal. For when your tummy can handle it. A mean uh meal cooked by a three-star Michelin shop or a night with Henry Cavill. Sorry, Henry. That's not even that is not even a question. Are you kidding me? I would, I would literally tell Henry Cavill to jump off a cliff if it meant that I could have a delicious meal that I would never like. Do not underestimate my love of food. Oh, why am I torturing myself right now? Like, look at the meatballs. Mm. Wait, I'm trying to find the picture of me eating this steak. All I did was scroll through pictures of delicious looking food and make myself so hungry. Your thoughts on crumble cookies? I've had them a million times. I love crumble. Crumble is so good. They're very like cakey though. Like don't expect them to taste like cookies. They're more cakey. Just wanted to meet a new friend. You're the first recommendation on Twitch. You look very cool. Hi, hi Crossing. Thank you so much for coming here. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. It's so nice to see you. I'm just trying to find a picture of me eating a steak. <laughs> Because that's normal behavior. But you have to understand, like, the the joy on my face. If anyone ever questions what my favorite thing is ever again, you will know that it's food. Oh, I was actually thinking about this today. I saw the statue of David. Okay, wait a minute. Forget that. I'm getting sidetracked. Where is the steak? 
I might have it in a different boat. Hold on. You have pics of when we ate at Haven? I do, because it helps to protect my jaw. I mean, not my jaw, my lipstick. I unhinge my jaw, therefore, I can safely eat without wrecking my lipstick. Okay, wait, if it's not here, then I'm giving up, but I'm pretty sure I, th I have the photo here. Oh yeah, this is it. This was my face eating the steak in Florence. You can barely see it. I was having a moment. What's a sneeple? Do you carry a bib? Absolutely not. I'm not a messy eater. When they hit, they hit. When they miss, it's heartbreaking. I will be honest. I don't think that... I don't think Crumble misses often. Um... But sometimes, like, because all of their cookies are pretty good, but sometimes they're just a little, like, boring, if that makes sense. Seems like something she would do. I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. I love Zelda. I, I'm really looking forward to the new... I did not finish Tears of the Kingdom because I was really bad at the building part. I'm not a snake, people. Hi, Matt. Chianti wine. Chianti wines. Okay, so actually, my favorite wines are French. Chianti's good. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. No, my favorite um, are French wines. I like a darker, deep bodied wine. Those are my favorites. But I do also, I like different wines for different occasions. Since you have the un French wines are unmatched, like a um, a Cabernet Sauvignon is my favorite. Also a Pinot Noir. I want like I want I like when they taste almost like chocolatey, like deep red berry. Oh. I'm so hungry. I want a burger so bad. The problem is reheated burgers are not the same. What is the new one that's coming out called? I forgot. I'm like very hyper right now. I had a double espresso today. <laughs> I want a Bordeaux and I can't have it right now. Ooh, I haven't had a Bordeaux in a long time. Yeah, burgers don't reheat well. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably not going to drink from now until honestly, like when I'm in Spain because I drink a lot this month. Bees, I had this coffee at like 11 a.m. It was the, it was the. Wait, I have to look it up. It's. I didn't realize when I purchased it <laughs> that it was a double espresso. <laughs> I did not realize. I thought it was just an iced coffee because the Nespresso like summer flavors came out and I was like, ooh, sunny almond vanilla. That sounds delicious. And I ordered it and it wasn't until I got it and I realized this is a double espresso. Bees, don't worry. Bees will scold me just as much as Nana. I love my Nespresso so much. So, so much. <gasps> I don't see it anymore. Is it over forever? Is it over? They have the iced forte. They have the tropical coconut flavor. And then I don't see the other one. That's upsetting because that flavor is delicious. Four to six shots of espresso. Fluff McGruff, I would combust. I am very caffeine sensitive, but I love the taste of coffee. So <laughs> here we go. I seriously have like a checklist of stuff that I 
that I have to go through before I can have a, a coffee. It's like, did I eat a big meal? Was that meal carb, carb heavy? Did I drink enough water? What the difference I get half calf? Sometimes I do. There is a half calf Nespresso. I'm fine, usually. Wendy's? I don't really know. It's a good game. Ever since we saw it at Tennis Daddy's house. Save! That man's an influencer. That guy. <laughs> that I was convinced. I went home. I was like, I, I needed an espresso. Guys, should I get my burger? I'm like actually starving. I think I need to get my burger. No, I have it in the fridge. I just have to heat it. I have a leftover. Yeah, I'm like really hungry. It's just that I'm gonna have to unhinge my jaw. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Are you ready for that? And you us like, well, honestly, on Sundays, I usually wind up eating my dinner with everybody on stream because the, t the time that I stream, like I start at four and I don't end until at least eight, nine o'clock. So usually I'm like, usually I'm eating my dinner. Okay, I'm gonna heat up my burger. It will only take me two minutes to heat it up. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I don't think I have any mods in chat, but I have some, some VIPs. You eat Werther's, the caramels? Don't go anywhere or you will be whipped. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, you don't even realize the amount of food that is about to happen. I have my burger and pickles that are... From McCabe. And because I'm a healthy girl, I also have a salad, which is see-through. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? Hi, Dark Star. They are. I'm so hungry. What's up, Zero Six? Yeah, we are we are full on mukbang right now. I'm about to shovel this in. Zero, how are you doing? I'm gonna have to fix my lipstick, whatever. banging that muck. Lynette, how are you, lovely? I'm starving. No, like legit. You're a sneaky little, you're a slithery snake. Yeah, I had a barbecue yesterday, so I have all this left over. Cooper and Thief wine, oh my God. That's what these are, Arch, they're smoked burgers. Look, you could see the smoke ring. It just wants to focus on my boobs. don't have a grill I only have a smoker yeah you see the pink ring <laughs> We're almost to the goal I know Last time we did that, I never watched the VOD over. I was scared. I was so drunk. I had to get drunk. I don't know. I was nervous. The pink Whitney. Got me going. Tear that burger up. I mean, Tyler. Why are you putting the burden on others? <laughs> not 
Yeah, because Bees just wants to make Yo, more I'm emotes more. of my face. <laughs> These are cheesy shoes. Thanks for the follow. Last time, Nana was just praying that I would fall. I am not a huge fan of waffle fries. Now, truffle fries. You need a face sensor. <laughs> yeah, Bees has like actually like been to my home. <laughs> What's up, Yam? Do it! Come on over. There's a really good looking omakase place that opened. But I don't know how long it's gonna be before you can have a... Uh, sashimi. <laughs> that might be a little tough on your tummy right now. Asian fries. I've actually never had five guys. Don't encourage bees about clipping my face, Arch. August would be a perfect time, but make sure with your doctor first. I don't want your tummy to be unsettled. Oh, you see, it's a balsamic vinegar now that all the leaves are gone. Oh, Alaskan. Raw food and bread might be a challenge for a while. Yeah, don't push it. Take your time. Alaskan, you're lucky it's your birthday. It's the rice. Also, it's probably a a big meal. Yeah, it's Alaskan's birthday. We did a birthday song and everything. God, this is good. Do you know? Eating burgers before the fourth? Dante. The fourth is on a Thursday and a lot of people have work the next day. So I had a barbecue this weekend. That's nice. I took I took the day off. After. Yeah, remember I showed you guys that dirt seasoning? <laughs> it's not actually dirt. dirt 
Arch, but you got holiday pay, right? No? That should be illegal. Oh my, oh my lipstick came off. <laughs> I'll just reapply it after, it's fine. The burger is more important. Legitimately, I don't understand. Like, even if you can't have beef or something, at least like a good chicken burger. I just don't get it. Why? I love a good chicken burger. The best, um, the ignorance is bliss. I pretend meat grows on trees. So for me, I just basically say like, I hope that the animal lived a really nice, happy life and it died instantly without any pain. And then it's like, it's already dead. <laughs> I only watch anime subbed. Sammy. Some people like dubbed because... But I, I really just like subbed. I find the voice acting to be better because that's the original form. So it's like, I feel like dubbed can get corny quick. Yeah, I just don't think about it. We converted Alaskan to watch, to watch some. What's up, Briska? Oh my God, believe it. Dot Tabayo is so much better. I can't, I can't do dubbed either. Mm-hmm. Some people also watch dub because even if they don't have an issue with it, um, they like to do, they like to do other things while they're watching. And you can't do that. If it's subbed, you have to be laser focused. Only watch subbed but if other people enjoy dubbed fine just don't tell me the quality is better because people are like it's better I'm sure it's great but I like my subbed 
Oh my god, Reyna. Aya! Well, usually the mouths don't keep moving. But they have to, like, change the intonation of their voice. I like doing the most adjustment. Yeah. I've heard parts of Gojo dubbed, and his voice is really great. Also, Dragon Ball Z dubbed is superior than the subbed. That was so good. That was so good. Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. I watched up. Because that was my childhood. That was so good. You've never seen Sailor Moon? Oh my goodness. Linda, I think you would love it. I think you would love it. Like, truly. Sean knocked himself out. I'm trying to go further beyond. I love the Sailor Moon dub because of childhood, the sub spirit. Honestly, I have only watched bits and pieces of the sub of um, Sailor Moon, so I don't even know that much what it sounds like. Can we watch Crystal together? I'm so down. I'm so down. Um, Rena, try. Ne Does Netflix have it? The VF Goku blacked out. When scream! Oh my god! That means he ran out of oxygen. <laughs> the only anime you know is Dangan Rope. That's it. That's an interesting one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm -mm. I have not. Honestly, voice actors are so impressive. So many of them voice so many different characters and they all sound like you wouldn't even know they're the same people. You've been enjoying Spice and Wolf? I remember turning that on and not liking it. For whatever reason, I was not a fan. Oh my god, speaking of, today is Sailor Moon's birthday! I don't know who any of these people are because I don't pay attention. The only voice actors I know that are like not Japanese are the Critical Role people. So, Laura Bailey. It's a romance anime with a white haired. Mm. Apothecary dies. 
I watched that subbed. I didn't even know they had it out dubbed yet. You do, Lynn. I feel like I, Spice and Wolf freaked me out because the main character, female, was like super young. But I haven't watched it in a really long time to remember. George R. R. Martin addresses rumors about a potential Elden Ring movie or TV series. Can he fucking write the winds of winter, George? <laughs> Please! I beg you! Don't do anything else! We don't want anything else from you! Give us winds of winter! Please! I've given up all hope of a dream of spring. Like, it's not happening. But at least give us winds of winter! I beg you, sir. B is you're you're gonna love Apothecary Diaries. I really it's a really cute one. He does everything but finish Winds of Winter. That is the reason why he's never finished it. Like he used to he used to finish the books less than freaking 12 years apart. But when they started Game of Thrones, they started con contracting him to, like, do all this other stuff. Like, he had to do episodes for the show. He was constantly being consulted. Then he was being consulted for prequels. Then they had him writing, like, ancillary shit and other books. And now, like, stop it. We don't care. We just want Winds of Winter. He's going to finish an arch. I don't, I don't like how pessimistic you are. I bet he isn't finished. He wants to make us beg. No. My only hope for seeing the end of Song of Ice and Fire is when he kicks the bucket. Brandon Sanderson does. I, yeah. Just tell me there's an alternate ending to whatever bullshit. So if you. To say it without spoilers. If the ending has the same elements as the one from the show, which it might. George will get us there in a better way because he will lay the groundwork in the books so that it will make sense rather than that. Like, I could see, because a lot different, a lot of stuff would have to go differently. But in the book, like certain things, the thing with Bran, no. The thing with Arya and the Night King, no, like George R. R. Martin came out and said, like, you don't, it's really bad lazy writing when you lay the framework and you lay um, foreshadowing for like tons of books just to change it for shock value. So like, that's not gonna be, but certain other stuff, like there are characters and plots going on that never occurred in the show is the ending. The ending's gonna be different. And he's even said many times that like the show didn't he say the brand thing was actually his original plan? I'm not sure if he did. But if it does happen, it's not going to happen in the same way that it did in the show. That's that's my point. Is that if he makes it happen, it's going to make perfect sense when it does. Because he's that good of a writer that he wouldn't put something in there that you're like, what? Like, he will lay the groundwork and the foundation. But I know he's going to change things too. Because I know that the writers of the show, like did their own shit. Like the Arya and the Night King thing, like they 100% did that themselves. He did not, that was not a George thing. Not getting Lady Stone art. I honestly, I'm fine with that. I think that Lady Stoneheart, I feel like in the sh there wasn't enough in the show for that to occur. Like I could see it not being in the show. Because you can't put everything in the show. But they really did honestly butcher at the entire Dorn storyline. They left out me. They left out. What's his name? Um, oh my god, I gotta look it up. Griff and Young Griff, which was huge. Like, that's a big fucking deal. <laughs> anyway. Come on, George. And I'm I'm sure the sand snakes were done so dirty. They were done so dirty. 
as soon as those writers ran out of source material, like they already were deviating from it, but as soon as they ran out for, of source material, it just was like, dunk. Like they, like all the character development is like, it never happened. They sucked. They absolutely sucked. I'll forever be mad at season seven and eight. The show ended at season six for me. Same. Honestly, the show might have ended in season five for me, like truly, because there are some stuff that season six is where it started to go downhill. They were good at adapting, but we're not good standalone storytellers. Exactly. If they would have had the entirety of the, sh of the books that I feel like they probably would, it would have been different, but I feel like it would have been better. Because once they ran out of source material, they didn't want to continue. They needed another like five seasons. They didn't want to continue with all that because they knew they they couldn't do it. My happy joy is D&D hardly getting work now. Me too. When they got fired from Star Wars, I was cheering. You are my queen who? It was kind of karma. They rushed less. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad they got fired from Star Wars. Because they rushed it and they they ruined like seriously the greatest show. And when I say the greatest show, like before Game of Thrones, there was never another show in history that had like the budget that that had. Please. You can't fuck up a whole beloved series because you wanted to go do Star Wars. No, I'm telling you, like they rushed it because they wanted to just be done with it and move on. I will never forget them for blowing up Jamie's. What was that soap opera trash? That was so bad. All Cersei did the last two seasons was stand there with a bottle, with a glass of wine, gazing out the window. <laughs> like, tell me you don't know what to do with a character without telling me you don't know what to do with a the character. Their ending was so bad. And listen, there doesn't have to be poetic justice because I understand that in George R. R. Martin's wor world, that poetic justice doesn't always exist. But at least like... Ugh. Shame. The entire show is growing as a character. So or yeah, I know. And it was like not even a good reason to regress. And then him and Brienne, like what the... The battles were awesome. Daenerys with Drogon was the only thing I liked about that season, honestly. And like, I've been reading, so I read the whole House of the, I didn't read the House of the Dragon, whatever the, I read the Rise of the Dragon. And, uh, um, They... It's fucking brutal. Drogon, my beloved, may he soar over the skies and lay eggs somewhere. I know! He's all alone! That makes me so upset! There's no Targaryens. Well, there's Jon. But there's there is no other, like... Starchy... <laughs> what is happening? Who are you licking? Um... Yeah, Amelia Clark, I, I talked about that recently, Alaskan. I'm pretty sure we watched it on my stream. But like, they're like, how do you like the ending? And she was like, best season ever. That does, that is my food face. Uh, if you want a series that is as good as a song in Ice and Fire, Stormlight Archive. Arch, can you put that in the, um, in my Discord so I can remember? Because I won't remember. Amelia knew how it was going to be received. She knew it was going to be received. She hated it. She she was so vocal about hating her ending. She absolutely hated it. She did the best she could with a shit script. They did my girl dirty. And it wasn't even because of what they had her do at the end. It's because if that's what she's going to be, then you need to build... Like, you can't have six seasons of character development and then all of a sudden just completely throw that out the window and just give us clips, flashbacks of people saying, when the Targaryens are born, the gods flip a coin and it might be crazy. Like, no! That doesn't come out of the sky. She was never that Targaryen. 
the Game of Thrones. <laughs> the Starbucks cup. They didn't give a shit at that point. They literally didn't care at that point. There was a water bottle. They were like, whatever. Posted. Okay, thank you, Arch. How's it going, Diablo? She can never make me hate her. She's my queen forever. I don't care. I really don't. And the funny thing is, is that when I used to, when I was watching, when we started, and I, it's funny because I would look at Jamie and Cersei Lannister and be like, they are twins. They have sex. They are disgusting abominations. And then I was like begging for Daenerys to get with Jon. And now that I'm watching House of the Dragon, I'm like, damn. Marry that son and daughter to each other. <laughs> Damon, get with your niece. Targaryens need to marry each other. <laughs> it's different. I can't explain it. The Targaryens can do it. Literally nobody else can. If anybody else in that entire universe does it, disgusting. When they do it, fucking marry your sister. Marry him to his sister. Don't let them marry somebody else. Keep the keep that Targaryen bloodline pure. <laughs> oh my god. Zor, it was it wasn't the shittiest show until the last few. She gets bell triggered. They just they invented something, Dante. There wasn't even a good reason. They they invented some shit. Gonna meet the actress in person. Which actress? No, Arch, I always thought it was okay as long as it was Targaryen's. <laughs> yeah, Aegon married both of his sisters. One for love and one was more like for the realm. We need to decide if we're gonna meet Matt. Um, I need to see who else is coming to Comic-Con before I make a, a decision. As of the dragon, it's much worse. It's not, it's, it's the Targaryen's. The Targaryen's marry each other. It's fine, they're Targaryen's. Valyrians are literally like almost a different species. They don't, they don't get like diseases. They don't, they have, they're like a different species. Some double standard shit. A hundred percent. I don't give a shit. Targaryen supremacy. <laughs> Everyone else is inferior. I do not care. Although I do love the Starks. Weren't you in here saying you'd be so good to me last stream, but a different name. And I told you to hit up my cash app and you didn't. How are dragons born from eggs? The way I'm obsessed with House Valerian. I'm I honestly love the entire all of the Valerians. How are the drag oh, I'm reading Blood and Fire, I'm doing mental gymnastics. No, that is something that I find difficult with Tolkien. I find it difficult with George R. R. Martin. Must have been a different Doc Holiday. I think it was Doc Holiday 2 and not Doc Holiday 3. Um Who makes the eggs a chicken? Um, there is a lot of lore about where the first dragons came from. Um, one of the theories is that they, in Car in Karth, they think that like the egg got too close to the sun and it cracked and a bunch of agon agons, a bunch of dragons flew out. There's a theory that they they were came out of a volcano in old valyria there's a theory that they came from least like there's a whole bunch of theories the shadow lens yeah thanks brian how's it going not a sock i don't know what's happening in this chat right now you guys are being silly you guys are being silly your account was made today yeah that was definitely d three hours ago doc hold on i want to ch check something real quick real quick Okay. I'm trying to look up Doc Holiday and Doc Holiday 2 to see if it's like the same shit. <laughs> but yeah. But. And then the Targaryens, but the Targaryens aren't the only dragon lords of Valyria. Like they were the probably the biggest family, but like the Valarians and other, there were other dragon rider families that were Valyrians. And 
It's just that none of them survives the doom of old Valyria because... Aegon, I think it was Aegon Targaryen had those dreams. Some Targaryen had dreams, a prophet, prophetic dreams about the doom of Valeria and was like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Rode their dragons, went to Dragonstone, and then, I don't know, five or ten years later. Um, it wasn't his sister. It was definitely a, it was definitely a guy. It was a woman? Was it a maester? They didn't have maesters in Old Lyric. It was a woman? I, I, felt, I feel like I remember reading. Maybe it's because he was the one that said it. Like, and told everybody. But they didn't believe them. They all went to Valyria. If it was a woman, then it was probably... Um, not Rainey's. Visenya. It was probably Visenya. No. Was Visenya the warrior? I can't remember. Arrow vent, you want to ride a dragon? Anyway, if you love dragons and you love the Targaryens, prepare to have your heart broken with House of the Dragon because not even just this season, like, you know, we know what happens. We know what happens because Daenerys was the last Targaryen. So it, we got to that point somehow. Definitely boop dragon snoot. Poor Helena. I have to say, I was not a fan of the act of the um the grown up Rhaenyra actor last season. I I'm I'm convinced this season. I think that it was just the difference was too jarring for me because. They kept some people one way. I, I I just felt like the young Rhaenyra actress and Daemon Targaryen had such like sizzling chemistry that that didn't exist with the older actor, but their performance this season is like, I'm loving it. So I feel like I've kind of forgot the jarring i still think it was annoyingly jarring about how some of the characters had different changes like i feel like looking at the actress the young actress that played alicent and the older one like it's so spot on that i feel like it's perfect i didn't get the same vibe from rhaenyra but this season now that it's just this rhaenyra I'm really enjoying it. I I I think it really fucks with my brain that there was like a bunch of characters. Cause even like Kristen Cole's actor didn't change. Like there was too many people that didn't change. And I know that certain were certain of them were getting older. And some of them were supposed to have already been older, but like it just kind of was weird. It was jarring to me. Um and I really liked Millie. I think her name is Millie something actresses like chemistry. But I really like I really like the actor now. Like I've really their performance is like I'm really into it which is nice because I need to be into the main character not that not that like there's really one main character but I feel like it's it's kind of told as if it's Rhaenyra's yeah it was sizzling well I mean the thing is is that you don't necessarily uh, it, like it's a prequel but even if you know everybody I mean everybody's gonna die because it's a prequel it's hundreds of years <laughs> prior so you know they're gonna die but you don't know how or who's gonna die first or what's gonna happen last episode the acting great yeah agreed yeah definitely killing it um also the actress playing helena like i thought she did so well emma comments even though their personalities are different emma wouldn't recognize herself that younger Rhaenyra's age i'm confused yeah millie alcock They'll die of old age. Yeah, exactly. Like, we don't know how they die. I mean, I know because I read the book. Because I, I was like, I really want to see how this turns out. And now that I know... <laughs> oh, boy. The one who plays the hand? 
Otto Hightower? Let his his performance last episode cracked me up when he was when he was trying to school his dumbass grandson who's like doing stupid shit and he's like Sir Kristen Cole has acted and he was like I was laughing my ass off that was so well done it was hilarious because he, he just had in his face. He's just had it with that shit. He's like, this dumb fucking kid. It was so Yo, good. Know. Kenji, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. The, bo oh, the book is always better. The unreliability of the narrators. Yeah, I mean, like... The narrator is like a maester who wrote the whole thing down. But even when you're reading the book, like, there's different accounts of what happened in certain circles. Like certain things aren't certain. So it comes across that way in the show because like the writers obviously pick what they think would be the most or what they want to go with and make it seem like that's the truth. But there's some like, you know, some fuzzy stuff. Also, there was changes because the Valarians in the books um, are of a different like outward race. So the question of the strong boy's parentage is a little bit different because they look different. Like they still look like they could kind of be their dad's kids. Whereas in the show, it's kind of like they really don't look like they, there's even a chance. Um, also, I am so angry about Sir Harwin Strong not being like, I need more of him. They didn't give me enough Harwin Strong. I don't give a shit if it wasn't necessary, like, I wanted it. I needed to see him and Rhaenyra. I needed to, like... God, that man. Yes, I saw that she's gonna be the new Supergirl. Good for her. Otto basically said out loud he was using... I like how he's like, that's what you think. But meanwhile... But hold on, Otto. Meanwhile, you were the one out here telling Allison you better fucking put your kids on the throne or they're all gonna get killed. Like, he put sowed the seeds. It was Mushroom. Mushroom was the one that... Yeah, there was a... The, um, I think it was... Two mace, two different maesters and then Mushroom. But, like, it seems like all the, like, juicy stuff came from Mushroom. We did need more Harwin Strong. He was so good. When he beat the shit out of Chris and Cole... Oh! We were robbed. We were robbed. Oh my god. Also, wait, how old is the actor that plays Jace? Jace Targaryen actor. I know it's not Targaryen, but like. Um, Harry Collett. How old is he? He's 20? All right, never mind. <laughs> Doesn't Rhaenyra have dark hair in the books? Not Rhaenyra, um, Rhaenys. Because she has Baratheon blood. So, like, technically, like, dark hair is in the, the bloodline. Some of the Valarians? No, I think the, the Valarians have the... Most of them have the light Valyrian hair. But Rhaenys, who is a Valarian by marriage is a Targaryen, but she has dark hair because her grandma or her mom was a Baratheon because the Targaryens used to intermarry with the Baratheons a lot. You should, you, you gotta watch it, Arch. It's a good show. And honestly, the second season is picking up even better, I think. Because now we're like getting into the, the meat of it. All the shows are coming out at once. Not, I... My, the shows that I've wanted have shrunk so much. Magic soon? Yeah. Yeah. Very soon. Keep doing some magic. Dragon fight incoming. Two is better than one. The dragon on dragon crime is going to hurt my feelings. Oh, please. I'm like not going to be, I am not going to be okay. Need these shows to be more than eight episodes? I know. What's up, the Great Sage Fist? Oh my god, is that a Naruto reference? If you haven't been the books, be ready for pain. Just assume that you are going to be miserable and in pain the whole story. When new DS episode really- DS?
It's a George R. R. Martin story, and honestly, reading through it, I was like, shit. This is brutal. What what is DS? Am I missing something? What is that a uh Game of Thrones. Oh, Demon Slayer. When is the new episode? I mean, the last episode came out today. And now in it's subbed at least. I don't know the dubbed um I don't know the dubbed schedule. Yeah, Game of Thrones mentions dragons have not been around for at least a hundred years. So Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the series, a prequel of Aegon's Conquest. Because to me, that's the, the Targaryen history that I am the most interested in seeing. Because I want to see Aegon and his three bad, his two badass sister wives roll up into Westeros on their dragons and fuck shit up and like become the rulers. Like that's what I want to see. The Targaryens at their peak. I just want Winds of Winter, true. I would prefer, honestly, if they were like, you'll never get another Game of Thrones show again, but you'll get Winds of Winter this year, I'd be like, done. Give me. It's gonna take so long for Winds of Winter to come out that I'm gonna have to fucking reread the series by the time it's out. I want more male nudity. Starchy, I mean... I don't really know how to react to that. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something to say and I just... No, nothing came to me. Oh yeah, the boys, I'm only one episode in. I haven't watched any... Of the, I, I like um, The Mandalorian and Ahsoka. I'm not interested in any other Star Wars content. Because I'm getting really overwhelmed, honestly. It's the same thing that happened to me with Marvel. I'm getting really overwhelmed. Like, I can't... I watched... Wanda Vision and like that's it. I haven't watched any of the other shows because it's just too much. I miss the days when it was like every two years a movie came out and that's it. Like I can't handle this. Like I have shit to do. I don't. I would rather sit on the couch and read a book or like play on my Switch. I don't have time to catch up with all these shows. And there's so much lore changing. Like I can't. You just finished Loki. I never even watched Loki and that's one I would actually like to watch. But I feel like I'm so burnt out that I don't want to, like I don't have the desire. I'm sure I will at some point, it's just I'm not in the mood to. You can write your own story before that comes out, you're not wrong. I have no interest in the Rings of Power. Because they don't own the rights to the Silmarians, so that means it's, it's like, I'm, I will say that when it comes to Lord, the Lord of the Rings, I'm a bit of a lore snob and they don't have the rights to the lore, so therefore I can't watch it because it's not like everything's going to be slightly different just for copyright. It's like, no, I can't. Also, like. I haven't well, I haven't even looked. Because I just not. Even the movies that are coming out with um, Andy Serkis, I'm sure those will be good because he has the rights to everything. But even that, I'm kind of like skeptical like i don't know peter jackson was like perfect i don't know that i need more watch the rings of power watch house of the dragon they need to slow down on marvel loki's worth the while i will make sure i watch it at some point i have to understand backstory like i understand having to watch like one before you watch two because those are consecutive. But when it when it became to the point where when it came to the point where I had to watch WandaVision to go to the movies and understand what the fuck was going on in in um Doctor Strange 2, like that was wildly annoying to me. And I had watched WandaVision, so I understood it. But what if I hadn't? What if I didn't want to sit there WandaVision? Like, please, I, I just can't. It's too much. Where the thing is, is that they're too closely resembling the way that like comic arcs work. And the average person who's watching like the MCU is not like a comic nerd. I'm not a com I'm I'm too casual like you. I can't follow all these different arcs. I don't want to follow all these different arcs. 
I haven't watched so many shows, bees. Yeah, they are pulling back because I think they realize that people have like fatigue. I watched The Hobbit in 48 FPS. What? I am very much looking forward to Deadpool and Wolverine. That is true. I have not watched The Wheel of Time. Shit threw me off when I saw it in theaters. There's so many that I haven't watched. Okay, I'm going to... I mean, this is TMI, but I'm going to go pee. <laughs> and I have to feed my cat. Those two things will collectively take me five minutes or less. Um, so I will be right back. And when I am, we'll, I'll start pulling up some magic, the gathering. But give me five minutes. I need to feed the cat, do my little tinkle poo, throw my plate out, and then I will be right back. So be right back.
Okay, I have returned. I have returned. Unsealing Chief. Thanks for the follow. Sometimes you... Yeah, they have those in Japan, Arch. A lot of the time. Okay. Let's change that title. Thanks, guys. We go we're so close to both the daily sub goal and the barbecue pool stream I did not reapply my lipstick. Oh well. You guys can kind of see it, right? <laughs> like this, I got like a lip stain on right now. I've got rewards. Okay, let's see what I got here. A shirtless man. I like it. Oko. <laughs> Give on the old razzle dazzle. That looks like Twisted Fate from, <laughs> um, from TFT. So it's good, thanks. Binding negotiation. Oh my God, it kind of reminds me of... Guys, Walter Goggins is going to be at Comic-Con, but I cannot meet him because it's $130 for an autograph. And I'm like, I, I refuse. Like, I'm sorry, but no. I would love to meet him. But that's just, it's just a no from me, dog. Okay. One thirty isn't bad. Ah. Walter Goggins, real. You like games like this? I can't, like, here's the thing. If I'm gonna, I would spend 130 if it was someone who, like, I was, like, I would spend that for, like, a Jason Momoa or, like, someone, but as much as I do like Walton Goggins, I really don't want to spend that kind of coin for someone who I only really know them for one role and have a crush on. Like, it's, like, it's not like I'm, I haven't been a long time fan. Like, I, it, I can't. Can I ask what that is? He played the cowboy in Fallout. And among a million other things. He's a gigantically, like... A very largely celebrated actor. It's insane you have to pay to meet someone. I don't mind having to pay to get an autograph. I think that makes sense. Because otherwise, it would seriously... Like, meeting somebody would be impossible. But like... I don't know. I just, I, I wish that you had a few more moments with them. I wish that, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the, 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 the con um, also like set some of these rules. T.K, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Do it. I might meet, I mean guys, the, the list for who's gonna be at New York Comic Con though is like insane. Like, there's, there's going to be some guests that... Haley Atwell is going to be there. Josh Brolin. Paul Bettany. Like, these people are huge. Um, the entire cast of Baldur's Gate, except for Halson, of course. Who's the one I would want to meet. Um, 
Also, the guy from Jedi Fallen Order. Denise Richards, which is very random. Um, Freddie Prince Jr. Who else? Katie Seagal, Kevin Smith. That would be a cool one. Marissa Tomei, Matt Smith. Like, Matt Smith is also a good one to meet. Um, Rachel Lee Cook. Why do I know who that is? Oh, it's the girl from She's All That. There's like a ton of them that I'm scrolling by because like I don't quite know who they are, but there's so many. Oh, the guy that plays Aegon in um, House of the Dragon too, Tom Glenn Carney. Oh yeah, Marissa Tomei's a hundred dollars. Matt Smith is also a hundred. Fucking hell. What's up, Ricochet Ghost? Welcome in. Ashley Axine with 140 for an autograph. Yeah. The cons, yeah, I'm pretty sure the cons like set the the prices. It depends on who the contract. Yeah, exactly. Um I work in film as a set light. Matt is only a hundred? Yes. But I feel I feel kind of like Like, he would be cool to meet. It's just there's other people I would rather meet, but they're not, like, on the list. So I'm like, should I wait? Should I wait to see? Because also, the only day that I'm going to Comic-Con, I'm going to be dressed up as, like, a fucking pin-up Gaston. <laughs> so this is also something I have to keep in mind, because I'm like, do I want to meet Matt Smith as Gaston? Like I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to be like, hot, like me at four foot nine has gonna have to be like, hi. No one has autographs like Gaston. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. I don't think you could do group autographs though, because you can't. Because like you can do group photo. But I don't know that you could do a group autograph. I mean, if we were all going to do a photo with him, I 100% would. Also, that would be super cheap for all of us, too. Is there a limit? Hell, I would do- let's do that with a couple of people! <laughs> we spread around, we can- That would actually be so fucking cute! Cause I, like, I would totally spend like 30 bucks and then like a whole bunch of us pay that. Speaking of, I also really- that would be adorable! Also, I really need to like get my costume together. <laughs> that's it. That's something else. Group autograph, one segment. No, like that would probably it would be the photo op. But that would also be a cute photo. Like if it's a bunch of us, an auto that's the only thing is like we couldn't do an autograph. Because I don't think you can all descend upon someone for an autograph like that. Also, is the autograph the same thing as the meet and greet? Or is there an additional thing? All right, Arch, it's you and me. Let's let's do it. And then I'll probably go into some 
drafts. I'm trying to get do some drafts so I can get a bunch of stuff to buy to, for decks. Oh yeah, I was doing this white and green though. <laughs> oh go! Oh my god, look at those abdomen! Fuck. Real John, thanks for the 10 bits. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um... Um, whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put, draw a card. Okay. Okay. Target creature you can show this one to. Um, okay. And he's got vigilance. Ew, he's kind of like fucked up. What's up with his face? No! Oh my god, he's playing with red. I hate red so much. Why do you hate me? Yo, i more. Oh, I don't know how to say that. Joe Al. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Man, I really need a massage. I forgot to book my appointment. Shit. Oh, look at the doggy. Oh my god, I forgot I have the little baby doggy puppy. Gotta learn to deal with red. I hate it. Yeah, Alaskan, go do your birthday stuff. Enjoy your birthday. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you have a wonderful birthday evening. I'm helping, he says. When you were cast a non-creature spell, create... Oh my god, I hate it. Okay, um... Um... Damn it! <laughs> he took the damage. No, let me kill this guy! No! Oh my god, please! I hate that fucking... bullshit red... I hate it. I hate it so very much. Okay. Um... Uh -huh. Uh oh. God damn it. All right, well whatever. Now we killed it. I'm trying to get a little bit more aggressive. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Well, I chat and I try to learn this game. There's quite a few lurkers. If you want to and you're not shy, say hi. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my god. Yo, i more. Sassy Paprika, thanks for the follow. What a cute name. Oh my god, I love it. How'd you find my stream? You're shy, Zor? Okay, sure you are. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. When he enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return target creature. An opponent controls its own attack. Whenever you cast its... Oh, God, I hate it. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. Um... I don't really have anything I could put out. Um, yeah, well, I, I mean, let's, let's do it. I'm just a small red, blue bean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God damn it. Well, at least I kill killed something. 
I work at uh, LGS. LGS? Someone mentioned me? Wait, what? Somebody mentioned me? Oh my god! That's so exciting! Really? Are you kidding? I need my little armored night doggo to save me from evil nerve. Stop it! Sassy Paprika, really? Oh my god, I'm so excited! Stornex, you're not shy. Okay, wait. Let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got here. Um... You did just make my day! Oh, heck yeah. I'm always glad to make someone say, that's amazing! Oh, Arch, thank you for gifting Sassy Paprika a sub while I'm over here trying to beat your ass. <laughs> Thanks, Arch. I appreciate that. Sassy, who's, who mentioned me? Please, you don't understand how like excited I am right now. Because I don't feel like, like, I, like I'm not a good magic player. I'm still learning so much. So to hear that someone like mentioned me in your local game store, are you kidding me? Pretty sure I am cooked. Ye of little faith. with no spell sizzling. Okay, honestly, I know that I've sh shit talked green, but like this green white combo. I don't know their name, but I was picking cards for them and we were talking people stream and your name came up. I am so honored and excited. You have no idea. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sassy. I'm very much new and learning. So please like Celestia. Is it a combo? Uh... Yo, why more? Max, thanks for the follow. Come in. I don't even... I might just... I might lethal you. But my personal faves? Really? Thanks, Arch! I got, I got, I got, I had a pretty good few, uh, first pulls. Sassy, how long have you been playing Magic for? Speaking of, I really need to get to my local game store because I really want to get pretty lands. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't re-roll this one. Well, whatever, it's too late now. <laughs> Anya, I, um, oh, Anya's not here. I thought Anya was here. I was gonna say that I feel like Anya would like this game. Not the lands. I want pretty ones! I got all these things. I don't really know what these mean. You're lurking. Anya, I feel like you would like this game. It's free. And you can play it on mobile. You played well and got decent draws. I had a handful of creatures in Spellsinger and they were five, six mana. Yeah. Sometimes it do be that way. She's probably working while working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lurking while working. If anybody wants to play with me, by the way. Oh my god, it's trying to sell me shit? Hello? The heart of the cards was not with me. If anybody... Your favorite TV show no, not the ads! Be gone, ad bitch. <laughs> I don't know quite what an ad bitch is, but whatever it is. I'm pissed off at it. I've been playing for 10 plus years consistently. Played a bit before that, had no idea what it's doing. I 
don't know that I know what I'm doing. Chad is really sweet in trying to help me learn. I've been playing Commander, um, but Paper Commander with my coworkers. That's how this all started, how I liked. And then I started playing Arena so I could play normally and I really like it. Oh, okay, Zordax, go get some sleeps. Would you ever consider playing your commander deck using spell table? What is spell table and how do I use it? The answer is yes, but I don't know how to use that. Can I? Okay, so like, here's the thing. I want to see, how do I see what cards I have? Maybe you have a webcam, you can use spell table. I mean, <laughs> do I need a second webcam? Their app that uses a webcam looking at your deck. So I would, I would just have to put my phone on like a tripod. How do I play over the internet with strangers? <laughs> How does that work? How does that work? If you want to see your face and the cards. Okay, I'm going to be real here. I'm not confident enough in my card ability to like not have my face like i know that people like to see me like laugh and like panic and i feel like that's necessary because i'm not a strong enough gamer to only have my deck um how do i like look at all the cards i own but does that mean that i have to see other people's cams because that could be very precarious and that gives me anxiety <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> my decks. Do I have to do this to look at my cards? You would see their camera, but it would be on their playmat. But what if somebody does something crazy and I get banned on Twitch? Like that gives me a lot of anxiety. I feel like that's very precarious. As a streamer, I have to always keep these things in mind, you know? Collected um, format. I don't freaking know. Play with people you know? Okay, that I could do. There's a collection. Oh, thanks, Americanized. Wait, can I go back? Oh. Are you spell tables? You want to be very trusted people? Yeah. Um, Under the deck menu? Collection. Thanks, Americanized. I really, 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 really... Oh, I can, like, import decks, right? I really want to make, like, a Hobbit-based food deck that's white and green. Does that sound possible? <laughs> Is there a food deck that I can just import, like, a deck list that I can import, and it will tell me if I have all the cards and how many, like... There's, like, stuff for that, right? There's gotta be. I just don't quite know, like, how to use it. Um, like, if I were to open up, let's see. White, green, hobbit, food deck. But like, how do I know if it's a good deck? What is Magic the Gathering Goldfish? Definitely food decks. I don't know how to judge if a deck is good or not though. Like that's the problem. Um, like, is this a good deck? Like, how do I figure this out? Because I want to see if I have enough. How do I find out? These are how I have 20. How, how many of these do I need? 22 common, 31 uncommon, 11 rare, 6 mythic. Like, is that enough? For me to build a deck yet? Because I feel like I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to... When I say build a deck, I mean, like... Take a deck that is pre-built online. Run it past the community who knows magic better than me to make sure it's a good deck and then use my free stuff to build it. 
<laughs> when I say build a deck, just to be clear, just to be clear that that's what I mean. If there was any question about it. Um, should we look at like, how do I, should I play a draft? Does anybody else want to play with me? <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to verse a stranger. How scary. That's so scary, though. Um... <whistles> Hobbit food deck. Oh! There is- Oh! Oh, it tells me! So... Um, I don't see any, I see three mythic in this deck. I have six mythic. Some strangers are nice. Wait, hold on. Let me see. How do I, um, export to arena. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Import. What's wrong with Sam Loyal Attendant? The fuck? I am loyal attendant. What do you mean it has a... That's not an unknown card. Well, should I just get rid of the Sam one and then... Copy and paste the rest and then add Sam? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Undo. What the fuck? Why won't it accept Sam? Farmer cut. Why is it? What the fuck, Arena? <laughs> Hi, Dazed. Nerdage? Might not be playable because it was from the Commander decks. But I want a Hobbit food deck. I'm so upset. It says format legacy. What format does it need to be for me to be able to play it? God, I'm such a noob. Green, white, food duck. What about this one? This is all common. Where is this gonna get me? Nowhere. <laughs> Selenia food, hungry, hungry hobbits. Uh, how do I see? Should I look at this? Here, look up brawl, not commander. But I don't want a commander deck. I want a regular deck. What kind of nerdy activities are we up to today? Playing Magic: The Gathering. Hold on. I'll share my screen so it's not just me sitting on a static screen, which is not fun for anybody. We're one we're one sub away from our daily sub goal. Why is this taking so long to load? Um Jedi! Thank you so much 
much for gifting us sub. We hit our goal. Thank you, Skyrim. That was really kind of you. Thanks for the support, friends. Now we get a wheel spin. Ayo. Charades. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Charades. Generator. All right, guys. We're going to do a moment of charades. Um... Let's see. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk a little during this just to like indicate that I'm still alive. Yeah, one word. Good job, Rena. Okay. Uh <laughs> oh god. Uh Not stabbing, not shanking. <laughs> so not pay phone or call, but like charging. Okay. Like you're on the right path. It's not if her plugging in is so close. Calling mama nerdy. Inserting. This is getting wild. Okay. So like not quite, but like. Reina? Oh, come on. You're so close. One word, remember? Oh my god, you're so close. Like, you're so right there. <laughs> you are so right there. So, like, n Porthole? What? No! <laughs> Come on, you're so, 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 so close. I didn't mean to do a hole. I was circling. Okay, come on, let's go, let's get it. We have 10 seconds, get it. Sweet guys, guys. Like, not the plug, but the... Thank God, the outlet. Oh my God. Sheesh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Holy shit, guacamole. All right, now, all right, let's... Hold on, actually, I just want to make sure this isn't going to, like, open it and, like, tell me my local fucking store to buy this because that would be horrific. Okay, I think we're fine. Uh... I don't know how to tell if this is... Oh, this is alchemy. Oh, okay. Two mythic, 12 rare, 14 uncommon. That look... Hungry, hungry hobbits? That kind of looks like it makes sense. Copy the clipboard for arena. Okay, wait. Let's see if this works. Wait, where is it now? Imported deck. Wild cards needed to complete deck. How many wild cards are needed to complete it? These? Wait. The only thing I have are the fucking plains and forests? You would have never guessed it? I'm sorry. Apparently, I'm really bad at charades. Okay. Like. Okay, so, like, let's look at this deck. Of which I have, like, nothing. Delighted Halfling. Many partings. Oh my god, look at the food token. Look how glorious that is. From shank to outlet. <laughs> Do not shank your outlets, guys. I'm still so excited that my name came up. I can't believe... Did you, like, follow me then and there, Sassy? I feel like... I feel so fancy. The Shire Sheriff. Oh my god, Mary Brandybuck. I wonder more halflings you control attack a player. Create a food token. <gasps> 
Oh my god, and it's life gain? Fuck, I like this deck. Multi-language charades. A doggy. Look at Samwise and all his babies. Man, he really... Him and Rosie got busy, let me tell you. Sacrifice this artifact, you gain three life. Uh, whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a food token. Sacrifice three foods, return target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. Xanifer, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, welcome in. East Farthing Farmer. Rosie! There's so many food token creations. You got four Lord of the Rings Commander decks? I really, really, really... Oh my god, Flame of the West. Like, I really want to make... Make this deck, but I'm scared because I need a whole bunch of shit. It's gonna require quite a few wild cards. Yeah, I know, I don't have anything except the damn lands. <laughs> But this is, now that I have it in here though, I can build it later, right? I checked you out after I got home from work on Twitter. Then I saw you streaming today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, I'm sorry to give you like 21 questions. It's just, that's like so exciting to me because I'm such a magic noob. The fact that somebody like enjoyed my streams enough. This isn't gonna change in legality. I don't even, I don't even know what that shit means. <laughs> So, okay, I have it. I just changed um, Hobbit food duck. <sighs> Excuse me. I gotta ask way more questions that work here. Fine, I'm glad to hear it. What's, what state are you in, may I ask? That one ring card goes for a hundred doll. Hi, Sko Skogan? The stream is going well. We just started. I only had one game. If anybody wants to like, you know, play with me. Because I will do. I mean, I guess I can do like random. I'm scared. I'm scared to fight random people. I can try doing a draft, but I'm nervous about it. Honestly, I'm going to be really honest. I thought that I might have a little bit more. You'll play with me. Go ahead and add me on. Um. Go ahead and add me on Arena and then send me a challenge request. Because all of these are pre-cons, except for the mono cats and the cats. Which a couple people made for me, which if I really wanted to, I could probably edit it. Did you, do you play any limited? How fresh are you to the game? I'm pretty fresh. <laughs> I'm pretty new. I've been playing on stream for like two months, two and a half months. Um... I don't even know what limited is, I'm gonna be honest. People try to explain to me and I don't quite understand. Oh, you work in Canada! But I work in other fields that I travel. Yo, Yo i Thanks for the follow, Skogan. The cat stack is not that good because the issue with the cat stack is that this was like created for me on like the first day that I decided to start and as a result, most of the cards are like single cards because I, I specifically told chat I did not want to use my wild cards. So this was kind of limited as draft and sealed. I've tried, so I play the, I play draft. I just started playing draft, but I only do, I only do bots, bot drafting right now because I'm super slow and I'm learning, very much learning. And I've been trying to do drafts so that I could build cards because I thought that I was going to be getting... I got I got a whole bunch of food cards, so the fact that I can't make a Hobbit deck with them. Uh, so Xanifer, let me know if you're actually going to play. Because then I'll wait, otherwise I'll do some... What is my display name? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, I haven't done that before, Dante. I've, I've just done the drafts with the bot. Dahlia, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I really hope you have a good night's sleep and that we see you again soon. I'll be streaming again on Tuesday. 
I'm really bad with knowing all of the terminology because there's so much for me to learn and I'm doing it. Do we have any overlays? I do, but I don't know how to fucking use it. I have to like, I have to configure it and I don't remember how to do it. Like I actually have the, uh, oh my God, what is it? Extensions. My extension. Yeah, I have this stream deck or current deck list. I have no fucking idea how to use it. Um, I have to go to streamdecker.com. Oh yeah, I had to like sign in with Twitch. It gave me anxiety. Oh, it's a bot? Okay. How do I upload my deck? How do I export my... I have to do it to all my decks? I mean, I'm using like pre-cons right now. How do I export it? I don't fucking know. Um. When it says export, all it does is copy it. Oh my god. What do I export it to? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Skogan. I have to permit you. There you go. I could paste it into Notepad and then upload that. Oh my god, that's so... Also, I'm still on display capture. That gives me anxiety. Okay. Save. Why isn't it saving? Whatever. Hey. Untapped is it good? I. This is stream deck or current deck list. Can I search for hold on untapped? That's what I want. I don't want this other shit. All right, hold on. Deactivate. That's what all the real streamers use. <laughs> Can figure. Uh, I have to make it a moderator? Jesus. Untapped pulled my- Yo, thank god. Know. It's called Untapped GG. Ew, I hate that I have to mod it. <laughs> okay. The extension requires this companion. Oh my god, I have to fucking download shit. Guys, this is says it's a suspicious link. Is this Mick? Oh, this is McAff. What the fuck? Is it anyway? <gasps> I'm trusting Arch, who said it was fine. Gimps, thanks for the follow. Yo, why more? Metal Black, thanks for the follow. Untapped fine. Make sure you click the untapped download link. I'm doing it straight through. This is literally McAffey. Okay. Now what? Why is McAfee even on this fucking computer? Get my extension key? Okay. Oh my god, there's so much happening. I have to create an account? I hate this. <laughs> Why is this stressing me out? Um. 
Okay. Oh my god, a verification email? Like, bro, just let me use it. <laughs> Arch! What do you mean I probably clicked an ad link? Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that to me? I mean, the right thing... That is the only place to download it? I mean, it downloaded! So it worked! Can I sh can I like share my file with Arch? Arch, I'm nervous. Help me. Do I have to pay for this? How do I? Okay. Okay, I think I did it. I mean, I literally. Americanized, thank you, but I already had those. Okay, I don't have to. Phew! Wait, I'm like legit. How do I show? Can I like show you the file I downloaded, Arch? I mean, I downloaded it, so like. How do I do that? Oh, I love how poor Arch is now like my IT person. He didn't sign up for this shit. I mean, I literally downloaded it from the extension configure. Thingy my bobber. Oh, I can just do this. Wait, this is the this is where I downloaded it from. That's the that's the exact link. So tell me if my computer's gonna explode. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, anyway, it's the same file. Okay, thank God. My heart. That was stressful. Okay, what was I doing? Did anybody send me a friend request? Thank God. Fucking shit, man. I, my poor little heart. I don't want Draft Smith. Go away. Untapped settings. Yeah, can you not? Oh, good. You guys can't see it. Um, account settings. How do I make it not like Magic the Gathering? Untapped account. Ah. Uh... General. Um, are you okay? Oh no, I don't want to stream delay. Do I have to have untapped open and running? Or does it just need to be installed? I love how people come to my stream and I'm supposed to entertain them. And meanwhile, I'm like, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, Xanifer, did you want to add me and play or no? If not, I'll do a draft. It's fine. I did install it and run it. Is it not visible? Refresh, uh, refresh this. I don't think you added. This is a form of entertainment. Honestly, so true. 
There's my shit. Oh, and there's also my Patreon. Thanks, bot. If anybody's interested. If anybody's interested in my Patreon, I have to reset the program. How do I do that? You mean like just log out and open it up again? I mean, I'm pretty sure I did that. You see it? Restart arena? Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, yeah. If Zordex sees it, just refresh the stream. First. I, how do I make this overlay not be here? Is my question. Oh, you guys can't see it? Alright, that's fine then, I guess. You can't see the overlay, but you should be able to see it on my actual stream. Right? No, I, there's an overlay on my end, but I don't want you guys to see it because it's literally just settings. You should be able... I don't know if you could see it until like... You hover over my stream, right? You see it on my page? Okay, perfect. Guys, the crumble cookies just got released. Let's look at the flavors. Patriotic birthday cake, s'mores, cornbread, ooh, apple pie, ugh. Oh my god. And strawberry shortcake, fuck. <laughs> you shouldn't see my over, yeah. Okay, Xanifer, I'm gonna do it one more time because it's not, you have me, add me. Because I didn't get a friend request from you. If anybody wants to play, you can play with me on my on my stream right now. Just add me. Just add me. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for everybody who's lurking. I know that not everybody always wants to type in chat and that's totally fine. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here and hanging out. Yay. I want a cookie. Let me get an apple pie one. No, the crumble cookies really are not. Like don't want them. Get them if you want cookies. They're like in their own league. Okay, Xanifer, did you read all my little rules? Did you read all my little rules? Basically, I'm learning, please be patient and don't stream snipe, that's it. That's it, just don't look at the stream. You can listen to me, but don't look at the stream is all I ask while you're playing it. You don't have to mute me, you can leave me here. It's up to you, but as long as like the it's not visible. Cause I do ask chat a lot of questions. Cause I'm still a learning, I'm still a learning girl. Yeah, minimizing sounds perfect. Oh, who is that? Is that Wolverine? <laughs> okay. I would really love like a sexy card. Is a sexy card possible? What? Oh, oh. That's Gideon. He's he he, he looks kind of good. <laughs> I can get a sexy avatar. I know I have a Starion. I I would love Oko. He's sorry. I'm a, I simp a lot for fictional characters. Um, enters the battlefield. But I mean, okay. Let's just put this out. Use up that mana. Oko is fire. Oh my god, his abs. I just wanna... <laughs> He's a cutie. No, not menace. No, my... You 
made my puppy sad. Now we have to pet her. <laughs> okay, um. Oh. Oh. Ba ba bam. Ba ba bam. Be gone. I didn't. I did not like. What is the Grey Havens? Is it just a colorless land? Mana, whatever the... At the beginning of your upkeep, you could draw a card and lose one. No, don't beat me up! I don't like it! Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay. Um... Yay! So far, I think my, my favorite color... My favorite colors are white. And... I think my favorite colors are white and black. I like every color except for red. Choose blockers. You don't have... Hold on, you don't have Death Touch, right? Um... Why is my puppy sad? Not the stingly... That was a suspicious attack, Stranger Danger! You're right! And I took the bait! And even as I was blocking, I was like, Why is he attacking with this? And I fucking did it anyway! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I'm cranky. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta arrange my shit. Um... It's fine if he's out of cards, you have the advantage. She's not out of cards! You can't- he's got a bunch of cards. Can't you see the opponent's hand on, uh... On my thingy mabobbers? Um... Yay, I got lands! I know my overlay is covering it a little. Um... But can, I meant, can't you see it on the thing I just installed? God, the th here's the thing about flyers, man. <laughs> Fuck! Bro! Help me! So, like, I have a flyer, but it's not as helpful, because he's got... He's... Higher than me. I'm gonna have to start countering shit. Okay. Um... Bro. 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 Bro! I needed that! Bro! This looks like a casino game. This is not even a little bit close to a casino game, and no, I do not gamble. I think it's safe to assume he has cars. There's an active Phyrexian arena on the board. What do you mean, Phyrexian active? <gasps> what? Bro, you're killing me! I... Zanifer, did you read the rules? Because this is not a fucking beginner deck. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. Phyrexian Arena is the enchantment he has. It draws you an extra card. Oh, 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 oh. 
Guys, is, is, is his deck like, is it equal to mine? I feel like this is a little OP for the deck I got. I really don't know how to tell because I'm too much of a noob. But I don't know, I'm getting my fucking ass whooped. And that could just be because I'm not a skilled player, but... Like, he's beating the shit out of my graveyard. Like, the amount of mana he has is insane. Like, what the fuck is going on? Um... Like, every- somehow my- something's gonna die. He's got way too many actions. Like, what the fuck is happening? This- I can't li I literally can't even do anything. It's kind of clunky. It's very good against your deck because it's removal heavy. It's not that OP. The matchup is rough for me. Okay, fair. Um... Like, I don't even have any cre- like, I don't have a single fucking creature, man. What am I supposed to do? I literally can't do anything. Fuck that, man. I'm fucking cycling, bro. How do I cycle it? Can I no longer cycle it? How do I do it? I can only cycle from hand? I mean, I guess I'll look for a fucking land. I don't know. What else can I do? Yo, I more. Peta, thanks for the follow. What do you mean cheat and take a creature? You can't! <sighs> Worth a shot. <laughs> I don't have any fucking creatures. Wait, come on. I don't have any fucking creatures, man. Why are you still removing my shit? You battered me. I'm on the floor battered and bleeding and you're still attacking me. <sighs> fucking hell. Yo, why more? Pika, thanks for the follow. This does happen sometimes, and I get so salty about it. Um... The salt is real sometimes. My deck is vulnerable to removal. How do I know that? Yo, I more. Heroic Town, thanks for the follow. But like, did did they know that and then choose their deck on purpose? Okay, I have a question, because this always trips me up. Later on. Later on, if I want to use if I want to tap Ozolith to add the plus one, plus one. Can I do that? Like, say I attack on the next turn. Can I do that after he declares blockers or no? I mean, because I said I was playing this deck, so... <laughs> Invest multiple cards into one creature that can be killed by a single card. I know. I can. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Yagmoth. How's it going? Like, stop exiling my shit, man!
Like, but I can't do it now when I'm blocking, right? Like, I, so I can't activate this now, which is actual bullshit. So I'm going to lose my only creature. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, well, there we go. I always get confused about when... I always get confused about when I can declare... Like, I only know that I can do instance. I always get confused about when I can declare sorcery and like when I could use enchantments. Like, those confuse me. Um... I need to pee again. I'm so sorry, but I've been drinking a lot of water, which is a good thing because we want to hydrate. We want to be hydrated. So I'm sorry, but I have to get up and pee. I will be back in like three minutes. I just got to do a little like, I just got to do a quick little pee. I will be right back. Everybody else should get up and pee, stretch your legs. It's not good to hold your pee. And it's also not good to sit down all the time. I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Thank you guys for your patience. I drank a crap ton of water. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Who is in the queue? Dante, you are up next. I do need a lot of aqua. I'll stick with this deck for now. I'm gonna try to practice it a bit. Thank you guys for hanging with me. I've been really enjoying playing Magic on stream, and I'm learning a lot more than if I just attempted on my own, because God knows if I just went into the wilds of Arena, what would happen? Yeah, I want to learn the fundamentals, you know? Stranger. <laughs> a while it's nice to be confident in your knowledge yeah i would love to get to that point oh i like the back card backs the color is pretty choose blockers um That was probably dumb because he's probably. Oh no, okay. We destroyed each other. Yay! <laughs> um. Okay. Let's try this kicker again. to use your mana efficiently. I try in. Oh no, not a flyer. Bam. I crash. No! Metal Gear, thank you for the four. 39 months, what? That is a long ass time. Thank you so much for the 49 months. I appreciate it. Eat your veggies. Come on. Veggie time. I'm just gonna be a dick. <laughs> um, cheese is not a vegetable. Pizza sounds delicious, but you need some veggies in your life. Um.
Yeah, I know, stranger. I just realized that a second too late. Oh, well. Can I? I can't enlist them because they're summoning sick, right? Damn it. I mean, it is a big deal because I wasn't playing it efficiently. <laughs> what you play? I know. I've been playing for a while and I still fucked up on these details. Um... What's your favorite vegetable? Ooh, um... I'm a... I don't know. I love asparagus. That's not an art a vegetable! I like asparagus, but I also really enjoy, um... Escarole. Spinach. That's so difficult. Um, turn this your living. Basically, I'm putting that. I'm gonna save that for now. How do I enlist? How do I enlist? Potato's not really a vegetable. I want it. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Enlist. That was confusing as fuck for a second. <laughs> Say it as a vegetable. Mm, a barbecue pool stream sounds nice. What would you grill? I don't know. Honestly. But I was ever, whatever I was in the mood for that day. Last time I did burgers and hot dogs. I don't know what I would do this time. I really enjoy a nice lettuce. No, not my death toucher. No, don't listen to the ads. Go away. <laughs> I refuse to give the ad overlords any of my airtime. I really need to figure this out. I'm gonna have to get this stupid YouTube read, these fuckers. I was doing so well with my freaking ad blocker for so long. Um. Oh, I can still enlist. Oh, I can only... I can only... That's... You know what? I can just keep using this one then. If you can be in the... What the fuck is this music? One second. I'm so sorry. Oh fuck, he's got Harbin. Yeah, but he needs five. Yeah. Uh oh. If you could be in the Summer Olympics, what about gymnastics?
Okay. Um. And this only makes sense, though, if, like, Actually, no, I'm gonna not do that now. I'm gonna attack with both here. And listing is great if the only people just gets a new chance. Yeah. No triathlon? No. Yeah. It was what I was gonna say, but I feel like I had to see it play out and happen. But also, the enlisting helps because it gives me the. Uh, the plus one thing. No! No, my elephant! No! My Elefante! How upsetting! I hate it. I'm Ingi. So it's like a weird deck to learn the game with? What do you mean? He's gonna block with a 1 1. You can enlist the spider. Yeah, that's true. I'll be really honest. I didn't. I forgot that it was only the power and not the toughness. My only thing with reach is fucking blocked. How frustrating! Why is my music loud? Whatever. It's not a bad thing to do if you don't have any spells to play. You get more lands out of your deck. So you have less lands to draw and you get the two plus one mechanics. Um... Well, now I can enlist this thing because he can't do anything else anyway. Um... Too bad he, this thing doesn't have trample. Learning to use instance combat tricks. I mean, I've been learning the game for a few months at this point, so I don't really think it's a weird Like, I've learned so many different decks. It's not a bad thing to use. I'm not gonna learn any instances. Everybody has a different, you know, opinion or thought about how to do it. It's just, I've been learning, I've been playing Commander for like six months, and this I've been playing for like three months. And I've played all of the combo decks, except for ones including Red, because I fucking hate Red. I've been practicing with for a while. Like, so this is, I've been, when I say I'm learning, I mean, I'm new and I still have a lot of questions. I mean, I know how to use specific ability. Like this deck that with Harbin, I practiced with a million times. At least we're staying out of Harbin range. Don't jinx us, stranger danger. Don't jinx us. Don't jinx us, hobbitses. <laughs> also, like, I have these, which is nice when I enlist. So if I get some of them. TB, thanks for the follow. Of course, he's going to attack me with his flyers that I can't block. 
There's a difference between questions being answered and things where the board of them to help I didn't take it. I didn't take it that way, go man. I think I didn't take it that way from Skogan. This deck feels specific to what it's trying to do. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but I've been I'm at I've been learning for a few months now, so it's like it's the time for me to try out all different types of decks. Not Rescue Retriever. I love that card. I mean, I don't know why he's doing that anyway, though, because it's not like I can do damage to his flyers. All right. Let's see, let's see. Oh, you fucking... Okay. All right. Why attack with the zero one? <laughs> they can't, they, like, there's no purpose of blocking it. I'm over here chilling, getting frustrated. No, there is no way, I mean, I would, if if I found something frustrating, I would speak up. Skogan was just trying to help, and I, I, think, I think a lot of players just have different ways in trying to help. And they don't necessarily realize when I'm about to get overwhelmed. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see what he does here. This was such a smart move and I hate it. Okay. Who did he return to my hand? Oh, you control. Never mind. Just kidding. He's yeah, but now he's gonna. If he. All right, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um. I don't know. I don't think so yet, Stranger Danger. Because he might... He still might have a trick up his sleeve. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. GG, Dante. He... I don't... I don't know what he... See, he didn't block that one. Because he didn't realize that... I, Either he didn't block that one because he didn't realize I had the trick up my sleeve, or he just didn't care. <laughs> one of the two. GG, Dante. The queue is empty if anybody else would like to join. If nobody else wants to join, I'm going to... Hoping to set up for Harbin. Is that what you were going to do, Dante? Um... If nobody else is going to jump in the queue right now, I might try a draft because I know that takes a little bit of time. Um, thank you guys again for hanging. I appreciate you all, especially if you're lurking and you're shy. Don't be shy, say hi, but also if you are shy, it's okay. <laughs> you can still lurk. It's completely fine. Your flyers. 
Yeah, your flyers would have killed me if I had... If I wasn't able to kill you that one turn. But I luckily had my little thingy lover. Aw, oh, hi Chewy. Thanks for saying hi. Okay, I am gonna try then... I'm gonna leave that open because people can join the queue. But I'm gonna attempt... To... What is historic metagame challenge? That sounds scary. Which is the which is the one that I that's with a bot? Is it quick draft? Yeah, bot. Okay. Phew. Oh my god, how many I have to use all this gold? That's fucking bullshit. Okay. Can I make this bigger? Why is this... Why is this so small? Okay, how do I make Draftsmith? I don't... Top right. Thank you. How do I make... What is that supposed to mean? What's that C? Top tier common or solid uncommon? That's too much. I don't want this. Go away. Ugh. You want a commander deck? Okay. So, let's see. I mean, I don't understand what this is talent. Like, what's the one bad filler? I really don't want to do a fucking deck that includes red. This one is black and white, which I enjoy. I don't want to do red. I hate red so much. Death, depth defiler. A's are more powerful. I don't see any numbers. I, I mean, letters. I only see numbers. Red is pretty good in this. I hate red. I don't want to learn red. I hate it. I get your hatred for fighting red. There are rush drafts can be hard to deal with. I don't get the hate on playing red. Because I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't like it. Pinnacle Monk. It's like, I have no idea what to start with here. Because this is the first time I feel like I see stuff. I don't like it. Oh, that's right. I really want to make a vampire. See, like, I kind of like this one, but it's telling me that it's solid, but it's, it's only a common. And it only has a 2.5 rating. I also, I kind of like the depth defiler. In this set, red, green, and white tend to be stronger and more straightforward. Blue and black. But I like blue and black. <laughs> but why is that? 3-3 three, three on the bottom? I really wasn't in the mood to do green. I'm also, I also try to pick cards that I think I might use in the future, though. I like this one. It's a flyer. <laughs> I 
I'm into flyers. I see stranger danger. That helps me to understand. So blue and black tend to be slower. You get overrun by the aggro, you get out value. I think I want to take... <laughs> I kind of like this one though, but it's black and white. Should I just go, should I just throw caution to the wind and try to do red? No, but the reason why I don't want to do red is because once I draft these, I get to keep the cards, right? So I want to spend my gold wisely and not get red because I know I don't want to build a red deck. But I want to do white black. I'm just going to do what I want to do. <laughs> the more you win, the more you get. Okay. But I'm, see, honestly, I'm going to turn off the Draftsmith because it's confusing me. Because it's telling me the strongest card here is the blue. And now, chase the dopamine. I mean, I would love to win. So should I get the Pinnacle Monk? Like... So should I do what? Like a red white? Does that exist? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm spending honestly though this the draftsmith is is fucking me up. I need to not look at it. I'm just gonna play what I this is only the first. Red white is good. That's thing to be to tell chat what you want to do. Yeah, that's how I like. I okay. I'll try. I'll try. I don't know if I want red white. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We'll figure this out. This one is gold. I want this because that's. I don't want to give that up. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Too late. I didn't wait. <laughs> um, where's on always the strong? Was kimchi too spicy? Hello. <laughs> I know they're not always the strongest card, but I liked. I read it and I liked it. I liked. I liked what it said, so I took it. But yeah, you're right. You're probably right. I should have. I should have waited and looked because I was a little impulsive. Okay, let's see. Target creature gets let's put a flying counter on it. It's not a big deal. Yeah. See, this is the kind of thing I like. It's black. It's flying. The only creature type that's abundant is Eldrazi. They're in red, blue, and green. None of those are white and black. The first creature I took is white and black, though. All right, let me see. I mean, the thing that I grabbed is colorless, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, The only creatures that I see here are white and black and white. Yeah, I can just sideboard it. Well, we were considering red and white. So, I might take this one. If you have fun while losing, you're actually winning. <laughs> Thanks, Archon. How's it going? The creation of Avacyn! Help! I'm just, I know Avacyn and I have that card, so I'm drawn to this. <laughs> um... God, I hate... But, like, I'm I'm so, like, drawn to the black and white cards. 
It's Yo, so I'm hard more. for me. Lum user. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Muster the departed. Like to be to be fair, I'm getting a lot of black and white creatures in this first pack. I'm not ready to draft red yet. I think if I'm going to draft red, I need to practice more in playing with the red deck. I'm j I'm just not ready to do it. Dog Umbra. Enchant creature. As long as another player controls enchanted creature, it can't attack or block. Otherwise, Dog Umbra has Umbra armor. If an enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead, we will damage from it. Stroll. Dog Umbra is great. Hmm. I only like the right, white and red sagas in the set, that's my opinion, because a black saga can get killed. Randall says dog umbra. I mean, it's a dog. I, I'm so drawn to white and black, though. Like, I've got to go with... I, I'm not ready for the red yet. I totally get it, Stranger Danger, and that's fair. But I'm not... I'm not ready to draft red yet. I have to practice in, like, friend games first. Um... Okay, let's see. I don't know what the hell that is. Inspired Inventor. Oh god, those chargey thingy mabobbers. Solstice Zealot. Draft what you want. I want to provide info on cards. I'm trying to force. Like I'll dip my toes into red, but I can't do it in drafts. I'm I'm too I'm too dramatic for that. I kind of want to pick the Solstice Zealot. But I hate these stupid fucking counters, but I guess that's part of this. The reason I hate it is because it's something new I have to learn. So I really need to not be this dramatic. Inspired Inventor. You don't need to draft red to do well. Like, I see what you're saying and I hear you. And I'll try it, but I need to prep first. <laughs> like, my brain wasn't ready for red. All right, I'll do Inspired Inventor. So let's see. Um, Artifact, I love fucking flying creatures. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> it makes me feel safe. X damage to target creature. Where X is the number of swamps you control. I kind of like that one. It's a battlefield, and whenever you draw your third card, you shot a mess zombies three. But three plus one. Mm. Okay, well, I have this one. Hold on. What did I just do? Inspired Inventor has these plusy things. Hex Gold Slith also has these plusy things. So maybe I will add this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're a, if you're a seasoned magic player watching my logic. Wow. Love it. <laughs> Tundra, thanks so much for the raid. I appreciate that. That was so kind. Thank you. Thank you for that. I hope you're doing so well. I don't know. I don't think I have any mods in chat. I'm gonna have to I gotta add a new I'm gonna have to add a new mod to my uh to my mod team. Oh, you're playing Warhammer. Nice. I pick cards because the art is pretty. It's amazing. Okay, I like. I li I'm looking at this one because I see having dinner and watching House of the Dragon. Ooh, I haven't watched it yet. Yo, I'm more. Manic, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. If you guys haven't met me yet, I am Nerdy. I'm a variety streamer. We've been playing pretty much nothing but Magic: The Gathering quite a bit lately. Um. Streamlabs is mod. But this is my nomination. We like to talk about food and anime and nerdy stuff and nerd out together. My number one priority is always engaging with chat when I stream. However, I've been also very much into Magic the Gathering, but we play different things. On the 
Blaze, welcome home and welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, I, I'm familiar with Warhammer, and I'm not gonna say and admit that the reason I'm familiar with it is because of Henry Cavill. But it's because of Henry Cavill. Avery Auxiliary and Glasswing Grace. I I was looking at gla Glasswing gla la la la, Glasswing Grace. Why can't I fucking say that? Because I love that I love the flying and the lifelink. That makes me feel very like safe. So I kind of want to go with that, that. Okay. I was having a, a tough time. Um, Eviscerator's Insight. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice an artifact or creature and draw two cards. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, everything else is blue and this is a land. I like it. I'll take it. It's a little scary, but let's take it. Okay, let's see. Area Auxiliary, when they support two, place... Ooh, I like that one. Adapt two. If they have no plus one, put two... Oh! Never one or more are put, you may draw two cards. Ooh, I like Fetid Gargantua. Grace is good. Having a land you can play as a spell if you get flooded. <laughs> what do you mean play as a spell? Hi, Jackie Lee. How are you? It's good to see you, Jackie Bean. Um, oh my god, a dog. Oh my god, a dog. Okay, muster the departed. I'm gonna pick this one because it's the only one that fits my color uh, scheme. So, hey, wing it. Target creature gets plus two. I love this. I love the buffs. It makes me happy. Rose caught night. You can play grace as a land or a spell. You have a lot of lands in hand, you can hold on to a giant creature if you're free. So like, I kind of understand these concepts, but for some reason I always get a little confused with like... The terminology. I'm still learning so much. Prototype. You may cast this spell with different mana cost. Color, power, and toughness. It keeps its abilities and type. I don't want to make it... So I would have to pay red in order for it to become a prototype. If I don't do that, it's just a 4-4. Four, four. And a, it costs one less to cast for each artifact controlled. Alrighty. And we're going with Junk Diver. Yeah, we're probably not going to play it. So, I mean, I probably won't even put it in the deck. Um, Junk Diver... Return another... Ooh, okay. Whee! Winter Moon! Players can't untap more than one non-basic land during their untap steps. Wait, what? Oh, so if they have a bunch of non-basic... Okay. Gargantua... Guardian of the Forgotten. Oh, why does my tooth hurt? Winter Moon's not good in this set. I thought it was like you can only have one land. I was like, that seems like it's insane. Let's draft all dogs. I would love to have a doggy deck. Whenever a modified creature you control dies, manifest the top card of your library. Uh, Razor Grass Ambush deals three at damage to a... Ooh, I, I kind of like that. Uh, buried Alive. Search your library through creature cards, put them in your graveyard and shuffle. Worm Coil Larva. It's an older card. Sassy Paprika, no worries. The draft is going okay. And just as a heads up, I don't know how long you've been on Twitch, but saying you're modding for another stream is weird. <laughs> it just was like, sorry, I was hanging out with my real friends. I came back to you, but I was with my real friends. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> the draft is going okay. Chat is helping me out. Grave dig. I like this because I like death touch. And when you die, you get artifacts with death touch. And 
Artifacts with lifelink? Artifact creature? Okay, I like that one. Didn't mean for it to sound that. No, I'm just letting you know because it's kind of like a thing. It was kind of a big thing on Twitch. I'm not, it's not a big deal, but for me, but in general, it's just a better idea to not mention it. <laughs> but I get you. You're fine. You're all good. Oh my God, it's a dog. I need this dog. Whenever the whenever Felia Exuberant Shepherd attacks, exile up to one other non wait target non land permanent. At the beginning of the next end stop, return that card to the battlefield under its owner control. If it entered under your control, <gasps> oh, it's a puppy. I'm taking it. There is not even a question. I don't have to read the other cards. Decree of Justice. My other commander deck is an angel. Um, my other commander deck is an angel deck. It's a white, a mono white angel deck with Jada as the commander. So I'm like a sucker for angels. I really want that. Wither and bloom. Target creature gets negative. Ooh, expel the unworthy. Decree is It does look expensive and that's why I went away from it. Cause that's, that's fucking crazy. That means I need four mana and then at least two. So I need six. Mm. I like Wither and Bloom. Retrofitted Transmogrant. That thing is fucking hideous. Return from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped with counters. I mean, it's gross, but also like... Man, that thing is... There's no rule 34 in that thing. Oh my god, this one's even fucking worse! Look at that disgusting, like, fetus creature! Oh, my head's blocking it. <laughs> it's gross, I'm not gonna do that. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh, when this equipment enters a battlefield... Oh, it's an artifact equipment? No, I don't feel like dealing with that. I'm gonna pick the gross fucking zombie, I guess. <laughs> I hate it. I really want to bait. I really want to make Transmogrant is neat because it plays well with Eviscerator's Insight. What was his name? That gross fucking thing? Transmogrant. Oh, because I can keep. Got it. I'm not going to talk about my Tog's Real Deck. <laughs> I would really, really like to make. So I know I said a second ago I want to make like a Hobbit food deck. I also really no. I'm kimchi. I'm really bad with the names. Like I don't. Re I read the. I don't honestly. I don't read the names well. Like I need to do that more. I just start reading the abilities. I ignore the names a lot of the time, which is not a good, good way to learn. Um. I really want to build a black and maybe white deck with like some sexy vampires. <sighs> okay, let's see. Target player can't cast spells this turn. If this spell was kicked, creatures cannot attack this turn. Arcbound, oh, it's almost Arch's name. Hi, Nate, did any of you watch the Pro Tour? What Pro Tour? There's, that's really possible to do. Vampire life? Yeah, I know it's possible to do. I want to do it. <laughs> Y'all read? No, clearly, I don't. Are you going to build a black white vampire deck with the new pretty boy sword? Yes! I do want the pretty boy sword. Oh my god! <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> ah. Alright, what were we? Kami of Jealous There's Death Touch. Each opponent loses two life. You gain. I have to pay five mana for that, though. This costs. Or less to activate vision three more cards this turn. Soren is so hot. Oh my god. My New York is coming out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Consuming? Arcborn creatures, but your name is really? This ended about a three counter, then it died. Alright, I'm just gonna take it. In honor of Arch. <laughs> Let's see, should I take another dog Umbra? Perilous Landscape. 
Sacrifice it. Search your library. Land, play the battlefield. Tap the shuffle. I nearly screamed when I pulled the Castlevania artist version of Sword and Crimson Vow. This deck should be called Who Let the Dog Out? I had an H, so we used the name for other things. I do not want to run afoul. That's fair. Oh my god, what a full circle that you discovered me when I was playing Baldur's Gate and now I discovered where your name came from in magic? That's wild! <laughs> what is Bogart Traveler? It is also disgusting. Where's the sexy cards? Not in this set. When he enters the battlefield, exile target player's graveyard. That's kind of a good one to have though, in case they are using... Hmm... Wing it. Target creature, put a flying counter. Hmm... Do I have one? I have an indebted spirit. Should I... So like, here's a question for... When I'm drafting, should I be trying to double up cards? Because I know that most of the time when you're building a deck, you have multiples. So do I want to find multiples? What's up, Gar? Howdy, 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 how you doing? All right, all right, all right. It's so good to see you. I'm just quickly on my other monitor. This is not relevant at all. Just like taking a peek at Soren. So I just want to like remember what he looks like. Oh god, he's got long way there. Fuck. Oh my god, and he has like an evil version. Oh my god. How much is this card? How much how much to buy this card on arena? $24 in paper, but like what do I gotta do to get this guy in my deck? Because <laughs> multiples are good. Okay. I don't even know if that was a good card. I got a little sore and uh, sidetracked. Angel of the Ruins looks fantastic. That is expensive, though. Ooh, Thraven Charm looks fucking badass. I think I had this the last time I drafted. Buried Alive. I have a souls to sell it, right? I can craft it with my wild cards. Soren? <laughs> I fucking stuttered. I Soren? Do I have him? Did I not take the solstice boy? I thought I had one of him. Expel the unworthy. I remember when I drafted last time. You're all flustered now? I I am. <laughs> you took Inventor over the Zealot? Oh, so maybe I should take the Zealot now because of the stupid energy shits that I don't like. <laughs> I'm going to take another Thrive and Charm then. But there's a unicorn! <gasps> Ooh, that, this unicorn's fucking emaciated. What's going on? Why does it look like it needs to eat a sandwich? Or it's, or five. I really like this one though. You hate the energy mechanic? It's like, I don't need this extra mechanic. Nyxborn Unicorn Bestow. If you cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura with an, an aura spell with enchant creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached. Whenever this creature attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. I'm gonna be aggressive. You want 7-ish to... What is 7... What do you mean? Undies, it's... It is what it is. Any weird stuff with the arts negative spaces lately? I just want... What, what like, pack is Soren from? Cause like... Seven or so two mana creatures, got it. Um... 
Oh my god, I don't fucking know. I can't use either of these. I don't own either of them. Which Soren? The fucking sexy one. Oh my god, so it's here, so I could potentially possibly maybe get him? He's a prolific little vampire. He can be prolific on my ass. <laughs> I wanna, how do I sideboard him? Okay, bye. Corrupt, I don't want this. Go on my sideboard, I hate you. Oh my God, get the blues away from my face. Okay. Um, I think Inspired Adventure would be good to have a second one. Eldrazi Ravager. Whenever this creature attacks defending players, sacrifices a permanent? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. What's up, flying wanksters? We're doing Orzov. What is Orzov? Is that black? I'm sorry, I'm new. Is that black and white? I don't really know the... I know Dimmer because that's like my first one ever. Um, I kind of want this one. Black, white. Or how do we know the, these names? Just a nerdy way to say black and white. I mean, I like nerdy talk. Like, talk nerdy to me. Orzov? Orzov? Like, Oreo? Orzio? What? God, Oreos. Fell the profane. Destroy. Yes. I want that one. Oh my god, the creation of Addison like is more. bad. Judging stare. Thank you for the follow. Profane is dirty? What do you mean? I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a really good player, so I I gotta get the strongest shit I can get. Annihilator can be strong. Note that it requires specifically one colorless mana, so we need ways to produce that. Well, any color can be colorless, right? Look at the art too. Yeah, I know. The art is cool. Um... So like, I can take... I kind of want... Should I take another unicorn or another archbound condor? Colorless and generic are not the same. You specifically need lands that can tap for the colorless mana symbol. Okay, so let's take sheltering landscape. Um. Wait, which one was the annihilator? But I feel like I've played a million cards that have ha have required. Oh, like the two. I'm pointing like my like you guys can see me point at my fucking monitor. The two is colorless, right? Or it means any color. So colorless means it has to be. Which what's one is the. Color and it's a generic or not. The... OK, 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 OK. Which one needs that? Sorry. I got it. I understand. I don't know how the fuck this thing orders shit. Oh, this one requires it. Okay. Okay, so then I will take this guy. Mm. Jolted awake. Choose up to one target artifact. Oh my god, I hate the fucking energy shit. Expel is decent removal. You can't put wastes in your deck for free as they do not have the basic type. What do you mean? Sheltering, what do you mean wastes? Um, 
Oh, I liked Glasswing Grace. I took her before, right? I kind of... Should I get another Glasswing? Or Jolted Awake? Choose up to one. Target, artifact, or creature card in your graveyard. Okay, thank you. Okay. Choose one target card. Very good. I want to take this hand. Okay. What is breathe your last? Destroy. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> Refurbished familiar. Why are these cards fugly as sin? When it enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card for an opponent who can't you draw a card. It's murder with upside. I saw a magic thing on TikTok. It was girls describing their hoo-hahs with land cards. Like the art? <laughs> Nani? The non-basic land cards? Like the art of them or like the mechanics? Muster the departed, dog umbra. Okay. A cursed marauder. The titles? Oh god. Um Okay. Populate. I like Muster the Departed. Living w Oh, this fucking disgusting thing that I don't want. I'll take another Wither and Bloom. Shadowy Backstreet or Waterlogged Grove? <laughs> well then. Very creative. I'm not being sarcastic. That sounded sarcastic. Like I'm not being sarcastic. That's very creative and hilarious. Proud Pack Rhino or Hex Gold sil Slith. I want another Slith. I'm trying to get a couple of like doubles. Mama Murphy, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, I guess I'll take Angel of the Ruins. No, oh, it's kind of ex expensive. Brave Dick. Let's make a gross deck with unappealing cards because they deserve some love too. They can get love from somebody who's not me. <laughs> Matt, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. The retrofitted transmogrant. I guess I'll take the creation of Abyssin. And the stupid red horrific card. <laughs> Ulamog, the defiler with roaming throne is peak. Do I have either of those? <laughs> I'm so fucking oblivious wait what is happening what is this why does it look different is it done Yo, I'm all... the overmaster thanks for the follow what just happened is it done and i have to make my deck now like what are these things here for somebody help i'm confused <laughs> i'm confused Oh my god, I'm like opening my fucking... So do I just hit... How do I make the, the deck? These are the cards I put in my sideboard. So how do I actually make my deck now? Yeah, how do I do that? Do I hit done? I'm confused. 21 creatures, okay. How, okay, there we go. I like I like my deck to look like this when I'm doing the draft. I was confused. Okay, um... So we have some shit to get rid of. This guy is getting the fuck out of here. I do not want him. Um... I don't really think I want the creation of Avacyn in here either. Ooh. 
Um, maybe I should get rid of that. Maybe I should get rid of the sheltering landscape and the ravager because I would have to get these two exact cards in order to um, make that work. Thanks for the sip. Hi, 100. That magic is going. I'm trying to learn and chat is being fantastic teachers. So I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. Urza's incubator. We don't have enough similar creature types. That's makes sense. Um, I think Angel of the Ruins is a little expensive, but at the same time, it's probably good to have a, a, a strong person, isn't it? Hi, Cookie! Listen! This is how I get my water in. It's not that big. How are you, Cookie Love? Um... I still have to cut 10 cards. Yeah, increase your water intake. It's your entire torso. Yeah, everyone should drink more water. All right, Sassy. Thank you for hanging out. It was so nice meeting you. I will be streaming again on Tuesday. Also, if you're at all interested, no pressure. My Discord has a Magic the Gathering channel and people have been like playing with each other and like putting cool info in there if you have interest. There is there is no pressure. But thank you so much for hanging and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Angel of Ruins might be okay. The problem with Angel of Ruins is that Eldrazi have the same casting costs are bigger. The worst ones are 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, of course, Sassy. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Now hear me out. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of the energy ones. Um... Fire and render most of the departed. I'll just keep one of those, I think. I do love Dog Umbra, but I'm gonna keep just one. Blue Max! Uh, right now I'm drafting, so after this, you'll be joining. Why does my tooth hurt? Love games and shows like this? Uh, let's see. Blue Max, thank you so much. You can give that prime to any of the literal millions of streamers on Twitch, but you decided to give it to me. Thank you so much for that support. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. How how do I see how many creatures I have? I have 19 creatures, six instants, two sorceries, seven artifacts, eight enchantments. How many artifacts and enchantments should I have? Okay, Undies. feel like that sounds like a lot, but then again, I don't know. Uh -oh. I have a lot of instants. You probably want 15 to 18 creatures, and then like 23 minus that for non-creatures. So uh, you're telling me I should get rid of some creatures? Oh, Glasswing Grace is an enchantment. Hmm. Some of these are a little expensive. Angel of the Ruins is really expensive, man. Cut some lands. 
No, that scares me. <laughs> I need 17 lights. Um. Hmm. Hand smoother? Hand smoother? I have a lot of twos. Help. <laughs> Let's get, should I get rid of this refurbished familiar? Some of your cards are lands on the back. So you think I should get rid of some lands? I don't know, that gives me anxiety. <laughs> Wait, let's look again. I have 19 creatures, so I, I've been told like 17. So should I get rid of a couple creatures? Seventeen lands is a bit much. So how many Okay, so I'll get rid of one of each. Auto sort in the search in the upper left. I just don't know, like, what is strong or not. Spell hex self. Um. Familiar is a bit awkward in your deck because we don't have a ton of artifacts. We don't? I feel like we have a shit ton of artifacts. The artifact creatures count as artifacts or no? Slightly light to go 15 lands. I never touched the lands before. If I get rid of lands, then I should get rid of Angel of the Ruins too. All right, I get I'll get rid of Refurbished Familiar, even still. I still have to cut five more. You got an Arizona heart? I see it, it tastes like melted tires. Good luck, have fun on games and stream. Thanks, who? I have 18 creatures and 15 lands. I should probably get rid of a creature. That sounds like a lot of creatures. Junk Diver? All right, bye Junk Diver. Okay, four more. Let's see, I have a couple of target layers. Grave dig. Pants himself, undies, please. You're gonna drink it anyway. Can you add something to it to make it better? Visceral Adam, I feel the same way, but chat is convincing me that it's okay. Chat is insisting that it's okay. What do you mean I'm in trouble? <laughs> what does that mean you're in trouble? Wait, no, don't listen to the ad. Don't listen to the ad. There you go. I'm not a fan of Angel of the Ruins. I think it's too expensive since we got rid of some lands. All right, three more. I'm going to get rid of some of this shit. Deaded Spirit. Um, I only need one of these because I can just return it to the from the graveyard. Are you sure? What do you mean? Am I sure? No, I'm not sure. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, I have to un. I have to get rid of two more. 
Blue Max is trolling. Blue Max, can you not troll me? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not able to be trolled right now. Guys, just tell me which other two to cut. I'm tired. <laughs> Please. I don't know what any of these fucking do. Spell is our worst removal spell. Okay. And Muster's awkward. Say less. Done. I cut expel. I didn't want to cut a transmogrant because I really like that one and I kind of want it to happen. Okay, let's see what happens. No more mustard. I'm going to change the name. Oh, I can't. It's just draft deck. But it's gross. I know, but I'm allowing a gross thing in my deck. I need to sit back. My back is hurting. Holy shit. Oh my god, I I can't mulligan. I need to mulligan. I don't have enough lands. One lands in this whole fucking no. We have two lands. Where is the second land? Here? That's still not enough. You ever try foam roller for your back? Not for my back. I've tried it for like certain muscles after working out. Okay, but we still only have two. That doesn't feel like enough. Is it enough? Well, I'm keeping it and it's on you. Oh my god, is it a Pona? <laughs> We're on the draw, so we get three draw steps to draw a third land. Okay, okay. I get scared. Only can block only creatures with flying. Wait a minute. Oh, he's a flyer. I can't block him. Okay. Not menace. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't use his menace guy to block me, but if he does, then I don't have to deal with him. So that would be nice. Also, I could use an instant. Does the, okay, so, so since this says gets plus two plus two to end of turn, Exactly, but um, does he stay with the fly encounter, or is that only also until end of turn? He flies forever. I'm gonna use it. Fuck it. Do some more damage. Scry. Okay, done. So is so he's a flyer now. Yay! I got a flyer. He also has a black and white deck. Look at that. Witch Blessed Meadow. Oh my god, the witch enchanter. His menace creature can remove the flying counter. You may remove a counter from another target. I'll cry. Fuck. He did it. What a fucker. Um...
We can't kill him with Wither and Bloom anymore? Why not? Oh, we can't kill him, but I can weaken him. I wanted another creature because since this guy has menace, if I have to block him, I need a throwaway guy. Oh my god, he's got the scary Kami of Jealous Thirst. I mean, I don't want to block him because if I block him, I'm going to lose two cards and he's still going to be alive. So I'm just going to have to fucking take this like a champ. Oh my God. And he gets fucking stronger every time. This I this is bad. I'm dead. Why does everyone like Kami? Because he has death touch and he's scary. <laughs> Um, can I just destroy it? Okay, I feel a little better. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> okay. Um, he has a death touch guy, so I don't- I honestly don't want to attack. Because I don't know- I can breathe that- YOU, Kimchi! You can breathe. Ooh, that was that was rough. Okay, do your one damage with your fly boy. Okay, let's see. This is a creature. I so got If you cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell with enchant creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached. So that means if I make it attached to something, it just strengthens that creature. And then if that creature dies, he comes back to life. So then it's worth it. Um, Wither and Bloom the Death Touch? I probably will. Oh my god, no! I meant to put it on the Infector! Whatever. Whatever, bro. Whatever. It's fine. Hi, Ape Flight. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um... Shh. Block the transmogrant. <laughs> Just pass. No! I'm angry. <gasps> That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. People just attack when they get impatient. I attack because I'm scared. <laughs> I get scared because I only have 9 life and he has 16. So I get scared and I have to attack. Oh fuck, I have this card too. That's also not a good reason. But if he has 16 and I have 9, like I have to do damage when I can, right? How, how can I... How do I cast him as a... How, how do I cast this as a land? Okay. Oh, I need that. I'm scared. Um... Okay.
Oh my god. I have like anxiety, bro. The timer gets me so like I can't take it slow though, Kimchi. I can't. It gets me nervous. I feel so pressured because of the timer. The timer is anxiety inducing. That's why I like to play with people from chat because there's no like stressful time. Kimchi, don't laugh at me. Um. Choose attackers. No. <laughs> I'm not. I can relate. Thanks, Kimchi. We have I feel like our deck is similar and I hate it. Sacrifice an artifact or creature. Honestly, like, I'm about to do this because I need some fucking cards, bro. He just drew a really good enchantment. This one? Thank God, I need some fucking mana, bro. I can't wait, Stranger Ninja. There's a timer. I'll attack him with my flyer. <laughs> I could, I like literally didn't have time to read this. I can't like, here's the thing though. Like when I'm playing a game, just let me make my mistakes. Just let me make my mistakes. And then like, tell me what I did wrong. Cause I don't have time because there's like a, a three second delay from my stream, what happens on my stream and then reading chat. So like by the time you guys are saying that stuff, it's like too late and I'm running out of time. Oh no, I can't block his fly boy. What do these even do? I don't remember when, whenever they attack, you may pay if you do against first strike. That enchantment is a whole dissertation. I know I don't have time to read this fucking dissertation. Okay. He's flash. Okay. Sacrifice a land. So like, what do I do? Do I attack him? I'm gonna attack him with my flyer. Actually, I'm not, because I need him to block this dude. I can attack. No, I'm gonna not attack. I'm scared. I'm just gonna add him, because I... Can I take out his flyer? Okay, so now his flyer cannot attack or block. Bro, 
what the fuck is happening? Why did he allow the aura? I don't know. I'm not gonna complain about it. <laughs> what is this fucking saga? Sacrifice any number of creatures. Search your let me go for a creature with mana value less than equal to the number of creatures sacrifice. Fuck, bro. Okay. That's an instant, so that's good. Yeah, let's do it. Somebody's got to attack the face. <laughs> Somebody's got to fucking attack. Like, what do I do? I'm going to have to launch an attack. Like, I can't not attack. Um, don't attack. Why? I want it. Why do I want him to cave? He's got this fucking hunger tide. What does safekeeper do? What's safekeeper? Oh. Bro! Who did he exile? My gargantua. Attack me, you fucker. I hate this. I should have attacked him. Oh my god. Make him attack me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Honestly, this fucking hex gold. Who do I sacrifice? I don't want to sacrifice my flyer. Kill the knight? Oh, I could bring back Transmogrant. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. So I got some shit here. One, two, three. Die. Perish. I'm getting anxious. There's too much happening on the board. <laughs> Get back from an RCQ. What's an RCQ? I'm so sorry. I need help understanding. Fuck! Fuck! He figured it out. Fuck me. God damn it. <sighs> no attacks, bastard. My Thrabin was wasted because he fucking figured out how to use Sylvan. I don't know what you mean by this is a terrible format to learn drafting. Regional champion qualify for magic. It was sealed. Modern Horizon. Guy, I have so much to learn. Why is he giving this guy vigilance? He can't attack. I gave, I, I, I put Dog Umbra on him. It lets you into the Pro Tour. The, guys, this is not my first draft, but I'm just like, this is very overwhelming. <laughs> but now he can't attack or defend every turn. What do you mean? 
Yes, that is very complex. One, two, three, four. Wait, why did he fuck up? Oh, because he didn't use this guy, yeah. No, I'm not attacking. <laughs> Guys. Guys, I don't like this. Can I just fucking attack? Like, I'm... Look, he's giving his shit double strike. fucking drink. Thanks for lurking, Tundra. It leaves me wide open with six life. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't destroy my... If he destroys worm coil lava, though, does he get his two artifact creature tokens? the witch engine. I was too much happening. I gotta lay it. Oh, he freed his flyer. Fuck. He freed his flyer. And now he's attacking with his fucking flyer. Kimchi chat bullied me into not attacking, and now here we fucking are. And he is vigilant, so this thing's not even gonna fucking tap. Bro, I don't cast with bestow on who? Who do I put the unicorn on? Quick! Who is the big guy? Give me a name. Okay. Oh, too late, Stranger Danger. I saw big guy and took it. Now who do I attack with? Who? Help me. <sighs> Night and larva. Guys, I have anxiety. <laughs> This is moving too fast. <laughs> There's too much happening. If there, if it wasn't times, like I would be okay. You said big guy. Big guy doesn't like big guy to me means the highest power and toughness. <sighs> I'm having an attack. <laughs> Doing the vigilance night was the right call. What's the vigilance night? <laughs> I can't handle this. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I'm stressed. <gasps> <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I got 10 life. <laughs> I needed a healer, help me. No. I need I need some card draw here. <sighs> oh my god. 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 Take fucking triple block the 5-5? Five five? Why? I would be sacrificing so many fucking cards. I was just gonna use my hex gold and take block it. Oh, I can just use transmogrant. Cause he'll come back to life. 
Why with the spirit? Okay, I trust you guys, but I don't know why. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. This is the longest I've lasted in any draft game, and it's so fucking chaotic. What does afterlife mean? Now I'm playing magic because you guys are telling me what the fuck to do. <sighs> I didn't know that that's what whatever the I didn't know that's what afterlife meant. I was too stressed. <laughs> Can I play him now to use up my point to use up my mana so that it untaps? Place you go after your physical after me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Motherfucking fucking fuck. I should have left it in my hand so that he thought I had some fancy fucking card. Guys, help. What do I do? Prep me now. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Attack with the larva, just the larva, because he's my death toucher. But then if I I can't, because then if he attaches with his fly when he attacks with his flyer, I'm dead. I know it has death touch, but he's gonna block it with like this little guy with transmogrant. I'm also using this guy. Should I keep tra Should I fight with the Mogrant? Should I also include the Transmogrant? Help quickly. I don't like this. <sighs> She's yelling at us. I'm scared. Somebody hold me. <sighs> he killed my death toucher and now I get two, right? Thank God for lifelink. Oh my God. <laughs> I have anxiety. <laughs> Not the proliferate. So what I need to happen is I need to block his flyer. But his flyer has vigilance, so it's not gonna fucking tap. I have to block with this flyer. I need this life. <sighs> Jesus. I'm getting so, like, I'm getting so flustered. I almost just said something out loud that would be a horrible fucking thing to say. Okay, help. What do I do? What do I do? Do I... Do I send him on his adventure? And then do it? Adventure, okay. Who do I target? Quickly! Help me. The lifelink, guys? My lifelink. Both of them? Or lifelink and death touch? Guys. Too many cooks, I'm gonna keep quiet. I'm having fucking anxiety. What happened? Did I fuck up? Oh. Who do I 
attack with death touch and transmogrant and lifelink I thought he I thought he gets exiled in the name not death touch lifelink no death touch though what about transmogrant <laughs> I can't handle this! Hi, Nezumi! Oh, yeah! Okay. Fucking fuck. Patience is a virtue? I don't have any of that! My lifelink guy died! Oh, but now he gets a counter! The fucking anxiety that I have at this fucking moment, you guys. I'm like developing a fucking headache. Nezumi, I can't stop the old chapel yell at me. <sighs> oh my god, no, his flyer. I can't I can't block his flyer. He's gonna kill me. The fact that his flyer has vigilance fucks me so badly. Bro, what is this? <laughs> Swing out, go all out. <sighs> Make us sit balls out. Yeah, do it. Pay them. Fucking go crazy. <sighs> He's not gonna block my death touch guy with the transmogrant? <sighs> If we swung out last I can't- I can't do the math. Hell, I can't do the fucking math. <laughs> Please. I really- Yeah, but now- Oh my god. What- But he can put counters on him, right? And then I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm dead. Because he's gonna grow. That was the most stressful game of my life. I did well, I appreciate you, but I think chat did well. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was just an ornament. Like, I was just listening to chat. Holy fucking shit. And I have to keep playing or I don't win anything, right? I need a, a glass of wine. I need a glass of fucking scotch. Holy shit. And a, a fucking something. Anyway, I'm not gonna say that all. Oh my god. So I have to keep going. Okay, I'm gonna actually clear the queue. I'm so sorry, but I, I have to unpin this. Cause I need to continue. I need to finish it. Okay. Oh my god. Can I have like a gold star or a, a head pad or fucking something? Like, I. Oh my god. That was. That was more intense than my. Anyway. Oh my god, Arch had one ready to go. Oh god. Blue Max, you're so fucking negative, bro. This hand is bad. Thank you guys for the negativity. I really need that right now. 
Thank you, Kimchi! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to do this one by myself. One second time out. <sighs> I don't want to put my shepherd out. I can't tell if this drink is getting better or the alcohol was all on top. Probably both. <sighs> oh my god, those sounds are disgusting. Great. Whoa, I just got so, like, lightheaded. What the fuck? I'm having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh, you don't like it, help me. I didn't even put my fucking land out. <sighs> Send help. If you win this, you get a date with Soren. Will he bite my neck and suck my blood? should I destroy? Because I gotta destroy somebody. Should I destroy... I have the man I need four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Double black? Oh. I, like, am seriously, like, freaking out. Why my opponent is getting lucky? Yeah. <sighs> fucking, fucking fuck. I hate this. I hate this. I'm scared to put out my shepherd because I feel like it's going to get attacked immediately and murdered. I'm... I... I, like, need a fucking gummy or something. They have no mana? Put the dog out now? I'm just doing what I, I can't handle this anymore with chat. Like, I'm sorry. I love you guys. I'm just like fucking fucked. Fuck these lands. Archbound. I, I need something. I need like a gummy. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I've never even had a gummy. Somebody like fan me, like, please. I really need like, I really need something. He's about to get so much fucking lifelink. I'm not allowed, I'm not about to lose this dog, so. No, there are too many cooks in chat, and everybody means well, but I honestly cannot fucking handle it. I 
I, I, I... Arch, I have so much anxiety right now. I cannot handle these threats. CJ, thank you so much for the 27 months. I appreciate the support. I'm having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Live on the stream for all to see. Fucking hell, man. Bro. I need another... I need another swamp. Fuck, man. Undies. Undies is trolling, Jet. This is a hard set to understand and play. Yeah, there's so much happening! I'm not letting my fucking dog die. So I'm just gonna get pummeled. Whatever, fucking kill me, but you're not killing the dog. I, like, no longer care. It's an advanced set. I hate it. Love thy hound. Archbound's out here telling me he's gonna unsub and leave if I let this dog die. It is so fucking chaotic. I am too new of a player for this shit. Honestly, I'm gonna put this out as a lands because I can't handle this. You may pay three life. If you don't, it enters tapped. I'm not- I don't have life to fucking pay. Should I attack? Because if I do, no. I don't like it. I'm so dramatic. I feel like I'm going to fucking cry. <laughs> Why is this affecting me so much? I just want to, I just want to be a good player for you guys. <laughs> I want you to be proud of me. Christ on a cracker. Just honestly fucking kill me, bro. Like. I'm dead. It's fine. Murder me. I have no will to live. I have no will to live. Thalia did not die. What does top decking mean? It's an especially tough time because seasonal ranks just reset. Oh, so that means that people who are really good at this game are, like, getting matched up with me right now. Is that it? I didn't know that! How do I know that? You have no hand and can only play what you draw. Relying on, on playing off the top of your deck? You be that emotional monster we all are, but you're willing to put it in front of me. I was mythic and I'm platinum. Sheesh. Well, Max, did you subscribe using Prime? What is that? No, it says Prime Gaming. I don't even like, I just want to lose and be put out Yo, of my misery. I'm so stressed out right now. I'm so stressed out. Skates, thank you for the, for the follow and for the prime sub. I really appreciate that, thank you. This is a horrible idea to put this dog out right now. A recovery snack? No, I'm trying to lose three pounds. Normally I would chow down, but honestly, I've been like an absolute savage because this was my birthday month and I kept getting together with friends and stuff and drinking and eating like multiple times over the whole month. So I'm like, I gotta chill.
I can't wait to go to the fucking gym tomorrow, honestly. A ton of us setting up question, please. No, you guys are doing great. You are helping me. It's just I'm stressed. Skates, I'm so sorry. Normally I'm just like so I'm not attacking with my dog, because if it dies, I'll cry. Thank you for subscribing with the Prime. Thank you for the follow. You can give that Prime to any of the literal millions of streamers on Twitch, but you decided to give it to me. Thank you so much. I know I love Zelda so much and all the music. I'm very overwhelmed right now. We're gonna have to cool down after this when I inevitably lose. Exalted? Well. You can't read the cards? I have a- I have the over- I have the- You can hover over- I have the- The thingy. The extension. This is gonna be rough? Like, literally kill me. Okay, I have two of these. So I'm gonna play one as a land, because I am in desperate need of land. No, that was a different one, Brian. I got the one that I don't have to do that. Maybe it's because it's draft. Maybe it doesn't work for draft. I'm not sure. I feel like it does. Just know the cards. Hi, Harbor. It's wonky. I'm also wonky. I need like an alcoholic drink, a cuddle, a pat on the head, a good girl, <laughs> something. He took my Felia. Bro. Oh my goodness. No, I don't want a cookie. What kind of cookie? <laughs> I'm such a baby. I'm so sorry. You would never believe that I turned fucking 34 this month. I'm not attacking with anybody. I'm, so I'm such a baby. <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just a baby. <laughs> I'm going to need this guy's static prison to fuck off. He took my felia. Jim Hawking. I just a baby. <laughs> what do I do? I have so many of these counters and I don't really have anything that... Oh, I this can use it, but it's like not as useful. Who can I fucking destroy? Which one's the worst? Was shit the flyer? Emissary of Soulfire. Yeah, but the other guy was giving everybody else exalted, so it just wasn't good. Thanks, kimchi. I, like, do I attack? I'll attack with him because if he dies...
Can I act? How do I activate his ability? Yeah. Tap target creature. Pay that. That was dumb because he can just block me with this guy now. But it, whatever. Good game. Bro, you're mean. <laughs> How is he going to kill me already? One, two, three, four, five. Nothing annoys me more than someone who says good game first when they win. Nate, right? It makes me want to rage. Like, it makes me want to get violent. Like, why? It's like, thanks to you. It's such, I feel like it's such an asshole thing to do. Draft is hard, but I feel like I've been doing way better lately than I did today. Like, this was absolute misery. I have never done so badly in draft. I know I've only played draft like three or four times, but this was by far like, I feel like, am I even a gamer? Like, do I, should I even be playing magic? <laughs> Help, I'm a baby. I'm just a baby. Fucking hell, man. I need to relax for a second. I need to put on my... You know what it is, Arch? The twice I did, um, two times I did draft, it was with the Wilds of Eldrine. And I felt so much more confident in that because that's what my commander deck is from. So like, I understand it a little bit more, but then I did two instances of this kind and I it just fucked me up and like, because I don't know what I'm doing. So holy fucking shit. <laughs> say good game when you're about to lose as a way of conceding. I agree, Nate. When you say when you're about to win, I feel like it's like a dick move. And I know that a lot of people say that's not how it is. It's just like, but I feel like it's a dick move. Save your gems and gold. Okay, skates. That's a better idea. Soren threw me off balance. What is Bloomborough? When Bloomborough comes out, I will have a gift for you. What do what do you mean? <sighs> I like need to take a few deep breaths. August 5th. Oh, is that the one that has like food and stuff? So maybe I really should wait to draft until that. Oh, it's animals. Got it. The giveaway thing you tagged me in? <sighs> Cute little anime people. <sighs> I'm so... I, am like, need to be held. Like, why... <laughs> Why am I so dramatic right now? <sighs> Thanks, Undies. I appreciate you. This is so dramatic. I want to thank you guys for being like patient with me as I try to learn this incredibly difficult shit. You want the code. The music's making it more dramatic. I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> As we reflect on what just happened, what just happened is that I had a fucking nervous breakdown because of Magic the Gathering. It was too much, you guys. It was too much. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Um, let's play some basic. No, my brain needs a second. My brain needs a second. It, it needs a moment. <laughs> Someone throws spicy Soren fan art. Oh my god, does that exist? <laughs> Is that a thing? Oh my goodness. Also, like... <sighs> I need, like, fucking yoga and a massage right now. Let's hear about all the good food you ate for your birthday month. Okay. So, first of all, I had pizza. Second of all, I had, um, sushi. I also went out and I had ramen at my favorite ramen place. Um, I had lots to drink too. I had some I had this really delicious fish dish. I had a steak. Hi, Shadow Saber. How's it going? I'm calming down. <laughs> I'm literally calming down from the fucking dramatic defeats I just had in drafts. <laughs> How much is lots? What did I say I had lots of? I did have my Marilyn moment. Show us your queen of angel decks. I'm a queen of fairy decks, not angel yet. I only played my angel deck like once. Only once. Was it really that bad? Yeah, I'm just, I'm dramatic. I'm just a baby. I'm just very dramatic. That's all. No, I'm not, I'm not that. I need to be calm, not like screaming. I need to just like, like, I know I need, like, someone to, like, massage my feet and, like, hug me. I've got to cuddle with my cat, but he's really stinky. Nah, nah, don't say that. No, the first game didn't throw the mood. The first game was chaotic, and the second two games were a fucking slaughter. Nah, nah, get on a plane. And give me some cuddles, pat my head, tell me I'm a good nerd. And maybe like a little forehead kiss. <laughs> to just like, you know, help me out. I would really appreciate it. You come to me. No! You come here. It's cheaper here and I have puppies. I know, but I'm, I'm stressed. I can't get on a plane. I need to be pampered. I need a little pampering. Puppies are when I have a kitty. <sighs> I'm dramatic. How did the draft go? Well, <laughs> you see, you see how it was. Uh, Is it to get over an absolute carpet bombing? Is it get back in there? No, I need like a neck massage. Yeah, we don't talk about the draft. Just like we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> oh boy. They obey, do they? Okay, I think it's about time we call it a night. Um, I've been live for a while. Yo, I'm all. Shadow, thanks so much for the follow. Um, I've been live for a while, and that that hurt. And I need to like go cuddle my cat and like I don't know have a have a lull. 
Relaxy. Oh, undies. Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, undies. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, undies. Five dollars closer to the barbecue pool stream where I barbecue that pool. Um, I just did the ending, which was all of my links. If you want to follow me on socials, I'm super, super active. Um, if you're not in my Discord, that's where all stream updates will be. If you want to catch up with me outside of my streams, that's the place to go. I'm really active in my Discord. We also have a Magic the Gathering channel and a lot of a really cool community. If you want exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else, you can check out my Patreon. Um, no pressure. If you want to, you can follow for free just to see what's up um otherwise let's go ahead and read this person flesh eating gnome he looks like he knows more about magic than me and i will be back tuesday i love you guys it's gonna cut me off i'll see you soon thanks for hanging with me i appreciate you